what's going on podcasters it's level one woke and you're back with another episode as you know this is the first step to waking up we got interesting topics and we got guests today so um i mean y'all see uh greg he's been here before what returning up, up, greg up? mr know-it-all and then <laughs> and then we got uh we got pound town concept in the house <laughs> and then uh so i got a i got a friend in that uh he's a he's a like independent researcher he also does uh wedding photography and stuff like that if y'all trying to get married and see Dope. see nice photos and shit he'll hit him up hit him Dope. up That's but yeah thank you but uh yeah no problem um so it's carlos it's uh concept and it's greg and uh carlos Hold brought on. some uh we were talking before the show and he brought some pretty interesting uh uh points up um and we're gonna we're basically gonna go into the christian religion the jesus figure and a little bit of other religions that might have something to do with what we're talking about and uh he said some pretty interesting things before the show and um to i mean if you're going to share it um i'll put it out there most of my viewers that listen they're repeat viewers they already know it's on uh iheart radio level one woke podcast it's on itunes um spotify google play and just about every podcast app that you can download you you're, out you're you. gonna find it and then yeah youtube video also if you want to see video youtube level one woke uh podcast on youtube we also have i, I post the video on the instagram the, the my instagram page and i have a level one woke fan page for facebook that i try to get the video up there too it's just a lot of work like running it yeah, all yeah, posting yeah. it all and shit like that so if um if you want if you want to you know share it with your viewers or well, whatever this is where it's going to well we spoke last week and you know i asked you you know if you would ever talk about religion and all that um and before then you know i, I also ran into some information yeah in the got it? there you got go. me now yeah Dude, all right sound way better you, there yeah better yep yeah right, perfect so i ran into some information that kind of you know blew my mind a little bit that most people don't know you know, we all sit here, you know, we only know pretty much of what the church shows us, you know, about Jesus, God, and all that stuff. Right, right. And really, these are not even their names. So we're just calling out, you know, names. You don't, you know, we're, we're calling these prayers out to nobody. To, Actually, nobody's listening to, to us. To names that mean nothing. For exactly. The and to back up what you said, um, when you talk about the church that preaches this and preaches that, to back that up, the church, I mean, they preach shit all wrong. They go, yeah. they spend three hours a day going over two Bible verses, and you never really get into the real translation of that verse, what these words really mean in other languages. Like when, like the creation story, like, you know, Eve was created from Adam's rib. First of all, rib doesn't mean the same thing in Hebrew as it means, means to us in English right. as a rib. Hebrew, the word rib means the side of something, which could be, which could mean like you have a house and then you have a, a room on the side of your house mm -hmm. or it could be something on the side of anything. It just really means one half or the side of something. So, yeah. Well, about that, too. Um, You know, nowadays, if you're pretty much reading out of the Holy Bible or whatever you want to call it, you're pretty much following the beliefs of the Roman Catholic Church. For sure. They're the ones that are controlling the Bible. There is no yeah. Christian Bible, Catholic Bible, Baptist, no, that's BS. For sure. It's all from the Roman Catholic Church. They're the ones who... Who pretty much edited it really heavy it was uh i think what's his name constantine mm -hmm. he, oh, yeah, he heavily that. edited the book uh the book and he also took out probably about 40 something books out of it that you know we can't get access to sure. uh, most her, of the, 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 the herpography text is what he's talking about and constantine just to let you know his name was flavius constantine aurelius augustus Damn. four names ending with the suffix us oh, just like jesus and this is the guy that approved that messiah or that jesus figure to to be the one we're going to go forward with for all right what a lot of people don't know this is what uh, uh this is what um constantinus did he made it legal christianity he didn't say this is what we're going to follow but he he first started off by making it legal like now you can worship it if you want to before you were getting killed for that shit yeah, yeah like you said inquisition. the spanish inquisition yeah. the catholic inquisition yeah. killed over 80 million people because they believed in well that's why Christ a lot of people Messiah. nowadays believe in that it's because yeah. they're great great they don't want to get killed yeah exactly which so, is fucked up i mean if you listen to this bro yeah. if you read some of the torture techniques from the catholic inquisition which which they're with they're shitting on hitler hitler killed what six million people at the most yeah yeah. Catholic Inquisition, the, or or called the Spanish Inquisition, you can look it up. Killed eighty million, over eighty million people. Now these these, these torture techniques, yes. they were putting, they would put like 
a tool in your asshole that would open and expand your butt until your 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 fucking chili ring popped and broke. And then so your asshole on. split. And then they would do the same shit to women's vaginas. They would open them and expand them really big and let them close and just keep doing it for months and months. They would tie you up, right? Hands behind your back on a rope. Wow. Put you to a crane and just keep lifting you up like this until your arms roll around and pop out of sockets yeah, and your hands. Bro, they were they were doing and this is the church in because the because because in the name of God because you believed in somebody named Yeshua or Yeshua. Shit's it's fucking so wild, sick. bro. It is, it's man. sick. It's it sick. Hey man, that's wow. that's why like you know, I've come across a My lot nigga. of this stuff. It's you know, even says it in the Bible, like a lot of stuff is edited, but I mean, a lot of secrets are still in there that you can still see. Oh, for sure. Like for the name Elohim, Elohim, mm. you know, uh, a lot of people know that's supposedly God's name or a El, title. El, 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 El as well, is God, yes. yeah. Um, but what they don't know is there's a group of people. It's a whole committee out there. Sure. Not saying that Yahweh is not the most high. Of course, he is an El, 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 Elohim, but the Elohims are not Yahweh. Right. You know, I think still the Elohim. I think the Elohims are polytheistic gods, and I think are deities or Yahushua, Yahushua, which means Yahweh is salvation or Yahweh saves or whatever. I think all right could have been a real person that lived for sure. Was he divined? I doubt it. Was oh. he different? Probably. Well, when he came, he was below the angels. He didn't get his title until he suffered death and was brought into the kingdom. That's when he got his title. That's when he was. I wouldn't say maybe the right hand man of God, but he's right there. <coughs> he's supposedly up there, but I, I mean, if the, if the right hand man of if God is Jesus, <laughs> I mean, it gets real twisted it's when you crazy, start talking man. about God was already there. He created everything, and then he came to he he was Jesus manifested in human. Like I mean, this shit gets wild and shit. So a lot of shit yeah. sounds super fairy tellish. Like, all right, bruh, they're, they're splitting the Red Sea. They're walking on water. They're feeding 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves of bread. Like, well, a lot there's of the homeless people right stretch, now on yes. the street, motherfucker. If you're a Christian and you're God, why you ain't feeding them right now? Yo, why you ain't on the corner fucking running soup kitchens and let's, shit? Like, let's talk about what really happened, and then maybe we can talk about, you know, why it is what it is right you now. You know what's fucked up about Christianity, yeah, bro? Yeah. And I think you're, you're spot on with uh, the Catholics and... Uh, the 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 Vol Vatican hiding so much real information and real knowledge from us that right. we're probably nowhere near the true figure no. that we're supposed oh, no. to be. No. Not even so, the surface. um, with that being said, it's like when you talk about uh, when you any almost any normal Christian that or somebody that wants to call themselves Christian, when you talk to them, all they know is what they learned in church. They go home and forget it. They don't, it goes no further. They don't do the research. If they do, they're just looking in the Bible. You can't look in a bible you have to look for a concordance for that bible right. and look up what these verses say and what they really mean the translations the the uh transliterations and the translations for them i mean and then when you start doing that bro it's a fucking rabbit well, hole you just the church's facts, fault. facts facts the facts. church that teaches you that you know what i mean right. you I, do it because they did catholic. it on purpose i was raised and born catholic so the whole concept you know of what they taught us i mean obviously there's better ways of doing it but they taught us, you know, you do whatever you do out there in the world, and Saturday, as long as Repent. you confess, yeah. Sunday, you know, you're, you're insane good. again. You yeah. know what I mean? You're in there. So this is what's fucked up about that, since you brought it up, right? Up this is what's yeah. really fucked up about Christianity, yeah. because I was reading, I, and I think I mentioned this uh, to Greg before, I was reading this article like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and this little fucking girl, of course, again, was molested by a, 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 a Roman Catholic preacher, pastor, whatever, and it, what's a, a simple fact real quick to get out there related to the story but since i believe since like 2009 the catholic church has paid more in like harassment sexual abuse charges they have paid more money than that than they have gave to charity let's Damn. talk about so it. let's so talk about that right and then you talk about this little three-year-old girl that got raped by a preacher so christianity is so perfect and everybody should follow it right but christianity says you know you can you can you can kill somebody and ask for forgiveness and you'll be forgave and you'll be accepted into heaven. All right, so that you're telling me this preacher that raped this little girl can yeah. ask for forgiveness and still make it into heaven, but at the same time she grows up not believing in religion, hating God because she was raped by this holy man. She so she don't want nothing to do with religion, and you're telling me she's gonna go to hell because of that? Yeah. That's how you, that's how you can tell how flawed Christianity is just by reading it. Like really think about it. If that don't make fucking sense to you, then how how are you gonna like follow this shit? Like. Well, that too, man. They use hell for you know for to scare you and all that. So you don't become a good Christian, or you the do as they man. tell you. But like I said earlier, man, 
Hell is not for us. It was created, you know, for the fallen angels, so they say. But it's not even for us. What's promised to us is death. That's in the scripture. Not no hell. There is no hell yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. No that was added the to the Bible. As right. far as hell being an underworld and where you're being tortured, bro, that's earth. That's what's happening here. You fucking see pictures in Syria of these little kids getting bombed and people are like people running down the streets with their baby off yeah, we legs hanging hell. apart. Like, bro, this is hell. Like, you ain't, you right. can't get, what are you going to show me? What can you have in hell that we ain't seen here that's not going on here right now? Honestly. Yeah. Like, you can't, like, you know, fact is stranger than fiction. You know, the real shit is stranger than that fiction, that hell shit. So there ain't nothing there that ain't there, that, that ain't here. So hell, nah, I'm not worried about it. Like the rapture, I know, was a cliff note uh, that was added to the Bible. It's, it, you know, it's not like somebody's going to snap a finger and everybody's just going to disappear. And be, and the ones <laughs> that are going to be left down here, bro, that's, if you're Christian, that's not how that shit works. Like, well, theoretically. Because technically, by the, book, by the book, the kingdom is here. It's on earth where we're at. So it's after the earth. I think it's passed, a different realm. Comes. I think it's here. I think there's, well, there's multiple two realms. There, there, there is though, but there's two of them. There's the there's a spiritual kingdom and a well, physical kingdom. I mean dimensions then, not realms. Dimensions, I guess. If that's more scientific, I believe. I believe as you become consciously higher, more consciously aware, you could probably sense or see other dimensions around us that we can't see with the naked eye right now, that the sound, human eye. Now. That sounds crazy, and that might sound crazy to people, but if you think about it like this, like there's shit out there that exists around us right now that we can't detect, see, or, or whatever. For sure. But like, for sound instance, waves is yeah, one of them. Infrared, like it's a color on the spectrum we can't see with exactly. our eye, but it exists. We, Ultraviolet. Yeah. And I think microwave. I, I think sonar waves. technology. We we had we can't we got from dolphins right, right, because right, dolphins right, right. do it. And we, that's how we, that's how we came up with that shit. I'm just saying it sounds weird to think about like other dimensions and, and, and shit, but it makes sense. There's too. things out there that, that, that exists right now with us at the same time, but we can't, we can't see it. We can't detect it. So well, know. it's gotta be because every religion talks about different realms. You know, even the Freemasonry, if you're a good Mason, you go to a higher realm, you're a bad Mason, you go to, to a lower realm. Everybody talks about realms. So obviously, yeah, it is true. You know, there, there's so much stuff out there, like little keywords that. If you pick up on it, only if you're woke, you can see, like, yeah. they've been telling the secrets for the Your longest. Your subconscious oh, will sure, pick yeah. up on you know that I mean? shit. Mm. On, Sub- on movies and stuff. Like, us, like, Ooh, I got to get too deep. far off topic. I'll tell you, I'll tell you about <laughs> movies all day, about you know, messages and it, movies. About Message. About movies and all that stuff, you know, all like that stuff has happened. The hidden medium type shit. Because right. we're not creatures hidden that and create direct. something out of nothing. You know what I mean? We can't just create an animal or a story or whatever. I mean, it's had to happen. There has to be I mean, something there already. Yeah. So exactly. is that like yeah. art imitating life or life imitating art type no, of thing? No, it's it's like you saying we can't pull shit out of it out of nothing. Like, 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 you know what's crazy? Try to think of a, like a different species of an animal you, or something, right? And I'm not talking about a griffin because obviously, obviously a griffin it's exists in a sense. Of, you know, there's okay. a bear. Yeah. The bear exists. We made a liger. We made a liger, but it was but from two things, things that already existed. existed. Yeah. So you're, but you know, you want, I'm talking about just this different creature that you have never heard of or seen before, and then you got to describe it, how it looks, and you know, we can't do that. Right. We can't. We can't. Could we now we can't. Could, could it I has to come from something we already have. Have you guys looked up like the process of a liger? Like like a tiger fucking a lion. Yeah, like that, 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 that part, that part, I mean, think about but it, the, like, go ahead. it's like crossbreeding, yeah, well, I mean, yeah. no, no, I'm in, but they can't, they can't, they can't have kids, that's the thing, they can't, they can't reproduce, and if you go back to these Sumerian tablets, right, always goes back to Sumeria, because that's the <laughs> oldest shit that we have, they talk about the process of, um, uh, like you were saying, um, not being able to create, or to, to create there, from nothing, they had to, ben- in these Sumerian tablets, they say that, gods came from heaven and they genetically manipulated the homo erectus the ape woman and it with their own dna they 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 manipulated her and that's how i believe that's how they, we got homo sapiens or something like that they were trying to create a worker to mine gold for them in these in these uh sumerian tablets and uh cool. they created adamo which in hebrew it means man that comes from these sumerian tablets and when you get into bro when you get into that like everything we say will trickle back and it will like co- it will like line up perfectly with them so i used to think that uh you, you know like you can't like a liger can't reproduce a liger but something in nature is a crossbreed between two animals and they reproduce you ever heard of a wolfen that's in nature though what? Natu- yeah, but, it's natural what you we what? can't wolfen? manipulate it though like when they first created us we couldn't procreate right. adamo couldn't procreate so the so they had to um re-engineer us to be able to procreate and but, and 
because right. like any hybrid it, it can't create right. and when they made us from the ape and their dna we couldn't create we couldn't mate with anything on earth and have an offspring so they had to re re-engineer right, us right what shit. i'm saying but like a liger is a tiger and a lion mix right this and they, a liger can't, wolf and hold on. yeah a liger can't make another liger and a, a human tiger. and an anunnaki can't make another one until they but th- a, until they had to so, but so this but. new thing that they found is a wolfin which is a dolphin mixed with a uh a orca a whale. killer whale I mean, so technically, a killer whale is in the dolphin family, yeah, or yeah, yeah. vice versa. But yeah, so, yeah, but they're yeah. mate, and the and the offspring is a dolphin slash orca, but they can have they can mate with other animals. There's too. some wild shit in the water. It is wild. wild. We we have we have a jelly. We found a jellyfish that's eat, that doesn't die. That's the fountain of fucking youth, bro. Immortal. It, it, we we found an immortal jellyfish, which is wild because I don't even think jellyfish have brains or hearts. Nothing. Oh, I'm far as we could see that's the <laughs> true I mean? stranger than fiction shit right there Golly. and really they're right. one of the oldest things on and you know what's crazy if jellyfish didn't exist we couldn't even eat anything out of the water out of the oceans they absorb that, that much shit. that's how important they are yeah they Sorry, eat up like all that. that yeah look that shit up they eat up all the crazy is that shit why like, they're so like toxic and shit like that they sting you and all that like, yep they could like that. some of them hold electric you ain't yeah, never see the ones eat. glowing at night with yeah, blue saw, in them and I shit a shark tail Shark tail, what is that? I'm talking about, I'm talking about Causeway, man. In real life, man. My brother had one in his shirt. He put his shirt in the water and scooped one up and had a fucking it's, little... Uh, I'm like, bro, you wilding right now. Bioluminescence when, uh, when nature can... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's crazy, man. Some of those things, man. Hell yeah, fuck that. I'm staying away from man. that shit. But, I mean, my, my whole thing about... I, I have a problem with the Jesus character in general. Okay. Just for the simple fact that the name Jesus only existed for around 400 years. Yeah, right. There wasn't even a letter J in the American alphabet until the late 1600s. Right. So in historical documents, you can see there was no Jesus Christ before the 1600s. And then when you start reading the Old Testament, it talks about uh, every time the Messiah is mentioned in the Old Testament, so is Yeshua. Yeshua. There's, there's no Jesus mentioned as Yeshua, which in English tra- is Hebrew, which in English translates to Joshua. Not telling y'all because i know y'all already know but for people listening so you got kind of got to repeat the information but um so that's my problem you call him jesus christ and his name only existed for 400 years uh there's proof because there's haven't been a letter j in the american alphabet for only 400 years so then you look at who was it before for joshua so if you go backwards on the timeline you have jesus before that in latin you have isus which is pronounced jesus which is uh comes from a Greek word, Jesus. It, it, they sound so much similar, though. It's like it's hard to uh, di- differentiate whatever how you're saying it. But um, s- supposedly the Hemetic, the the Semitic meaning for Jesus is is Hail Zeus. And then you have Christ, which comes from a Latin word, Christos, Christos, Christos. which uh Christ. it means Masiach in Hebrew is the equivalent to Messiah. So when you say Jesus Christ, you're literally saying Hail Zeus, the Messiah. And it was translated that way because you can tell right after Hebrew was translated into Aramaic, Aramaic or whatever. And you can tell on their trans, they don't, of course, they don't have the same alphabet, so they ain't going to be able to spell it the same way and pronounce it the same way. But it was more similar to the Hebrew. And then when you get to the Greeks, it's just like Isus, Jesus. And then it's like, all right, where the U.S. come from? They try to say we added the S to make it sound masculine because that's what we do. I'm like, all right, that sounds like bullshit, which which Jesus means nothing in Hebrew, which in English it means earth pig, from what literally heard, yeah. earth yeah. pig. And then when you look at the Semitic meaning for it, it's Jesus, you're, you're hailing Zeus. So the people that translated this hebrew bible into greek they were called scribes right people that wrote shit back then not everybody could that's write where the word scripture comes from exactly scribes that's because they wrote the scripture all right so you got scribes that are writing this you have greek scribes writing hebrew text that's that's a problem right there already can you clarify for people who may not know like a scribe isn't like back in the day everybody didn't know how to read and write everybody wasn't literate it was mostly like rich people or people wealthy. who worked for rich people. yeah wealthy so and also if Kings, you knew Queens, how to priests. write you wasn't writing your own fucking thoughts you were writing what they whoever, were whoever yeah you were yeah. writing whoever was ruling or whoever so wanted you to write what he's trying to say is it wasn't common and we don't think that these people were just writing the shit down for fun because that's not what they did it's probably real it could be real information and real data and shit especially like when you go back to the old sumerian shit especially with cuneiform text with sumerians invented a writing the first form of writing bro 
they were masters in geometry. They they invented the lunar calendar. Uh, they invented the calendar based off of lunar cycles. Bro, it, it's so much. The sailboat, irrigation, levees, canal, plumbing. Uh, they invented the wheel. They invented the uh, the plow. They they invented domestication of lamb and cattle. They invented agriculture. They they put like wheat, uh, spinach, barley, apples, onions. They were the first ones to do all of this shit. They had a identific- uh, identification like coins for each people. Their laws were so detailed that like you could sue somebody that somebody else would be at fault if they're doing work on your house and and something happens just like now like bro so you got hunter gatherer hunter gatherer hunter gatherer and then boom super civilized out of nowhere we can write now we can do all this shit and they had their own story about creation which mimics everything that if to me the king most of the king james version of the bible is condensed edited version of the sumerian text you can find the flood of noah in there you can wow. find the adam and eve creation story in there you can find the fucking big bang theory in there where they're talking about at first it was void and then it was chaos like you know shit exploding or whatever like you can that's interpret that to me yeah, that's all interpretation Wild, bro you can yeah. interpret it to me you know certain things you got to check back to the old text but anybody with an open mind can say like all right this is probably you know what they're talking about that's another one of my yeah. uh problem my bad problems no, with no, no, no. uh not just Christianity, but Mind religion. Blown. Like uh, most most what people grow up hearing and thinking is someone else's interpretation. It's usually their mm-hmm. pastor, their yeah. deacons, their but parents, you're, you're, maybe their parents. But it's it's not your own thoughts. No. It's what somebody else is preaching to you every Sunday For or sure. every. You know what I'm saying? That's, you're born. That's, they give you a name. They give you a religion and identity, and then you spend your whole life defending that. If you're born in in, in America, more than likely you're going to be a Christian, right? If you're born in the Middle East, more than likely you'll yeah. believe in Allah. If you're born in Japan, you'll probably believe in Buddha. So it's right. it's where you're born and how you're raised, and it's fucked up because, like you said, you're innocent to the shit, and then it's like boom, they just stick it in your it's, face, whether it's your preachers, your parents, yeah. and yeah. And it's indoctrinated in you. Right. And then you indoctrinate yeah, yeah, it in yeah. your kids. But Especially let's start nowadays. indoctrinating research, Especially. bro. Like, real facts. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the bullshit. Concept. Especially nowadays, like, it seems like they push it more like a business now. The oh, more people they time. have in the... Been a the business, people, for sure. Big yeah. business. Big, of course. big of course. business. Of course. Of course. So the more people they have in the congregation, the more the more times... Yeah. The more the Mega churches. Hey, money. Earth, Earth is, you know Earth is a huge private prison. <laughs> Let's put it oh, like that. Think so? That's oh, yeah. Anybody that's paying taxes is a slave. Deep. The only free people... I just made that up, too. I'm about to break that on the board. The only free people on this Earth... Message. The only free people on... For real... Um, the only that, free people on these me, me on this too, earth right now are the North Sentinel Islands, the the the, the island off the in, the There's coast of some India. People in the Amazon. There's, There's probably, probably are there tribe. probably is uncontacted like tribe, but as we know of, they're yeah, the yeah, only yeah. free. They live off the land, they don't pay taxes, and they do whatever the fuck they want hold on that up, island. And up. it's illegal to go within five miles of that island because they're so rare. Message like a common cold could wipe out their whole can civilization. I, can I drop some yeah. contradicting facts? Sure. About it? So they talk about history and all this shit going back to 10,000 years, even Sumerian. Uh, uh, but they said that that tribe has been uncontacted for 60,000 years. No, 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 no. They said it, they said it had people been. People migrated to that island 60,000 years ago, right? Yeah. There's been people there contacting. There's video of people throwing them coconuts and like trying to talk to them and. Sure. There was a guy that went over there and kidnapped a few of them. But I'm saying so they said he, did. he they, took them to England and they died as soon as they got over there because they got like the common cold. Yeah, but I'm saying they the said, two adults died and they dropped the two kids back over there. But they're saying that That's they've great. been on that island for sixty thousand years, right? At least, at yeah, at least at least sixty thousand years they've been uh they've been there. But that's not. I mean, trust me, that they know of. Um, but I'm just saying that contradicts a lot of a yeah, lot yeah. of everything. Sixty thousand years. That contradicts yeah. the Bible. That contradicts. That just contradicts a well, lot. Well, they of don't things, know because right? they haven't been there to study. But what? Right. What? But what? Their their accusations are saying that uh, these people been there for at least sixty thousand years, and they're natural like natives from Africa, supposedly. Word. Okay. And I mean, you never know. In Sumeria, they have texts where they talked about the black-headed people. They're probably talking about Africans or something mm-hmm. like. But who knows? Who the fuck knows? Maybe who they knows? were fucking aliens from, you know, polytheistic. But to get back on topic, right. I was trying to, like, not really, like, I was trying to de- explain my uh, my idea of Christ and why the names and the and the transliteration yeah, 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 and yeah. shit like that. But what is what is your point of view on the on the Christ figure? My point of view, man, I believe he's real. I believe he is here to help us out. But I just don't believe he is who they painted him out to be. Jesus or God? 
Uh, Jesus. Or you Jesus. think they're well, one and the same? Um, I don't like calling him Jesus. Uh, more Yeshua. Yeah. Um, but, but you believe that that was an actual... Yes. Okay. And I, I believe the Jesus story, you know, maybe just made him, you know, they spiced it up a little bit and make it more exciting. And Very all Hollywood, it, Hollywoodized it. In a sense, yes. Let me I mean, ask you this, though. All right. So if they're hiding the real, the real, there was a, a real uh, Yeshua or Yeshua or Yeshua, who, uh, whatever the hell his name was. Before it was all of that, it was Hoshua. In the, in the book of Nun, you can look it up. Uh, he was the son of Nun, and he was the predecessor of Moses. He, re, he led the Israel, in the book of Deuteronomy, he led the Israelites into the promised land after Moses died. And his name was Hoshua. Hoshua meaning Hoshua. he saves. It means he saves. And then that's what ended up becoming into Yahoshua Yahu, or something like that. And Yahshua. then it, it really started there. Ye, ye, uh, Yeshua, Yeshua, like Yeshua, the, the, the Yeshua. Hebrew said they were changing the name because it was too holy to be spoken. Like right. I've heard that a well, few times. That, that's different. That's a God's name that um, we, God's can't, name. we can't say it because for one, it's not in our tongue. Also, uh, it's a secret kept from us. Like there's a few rabbis that well, I guess well, every so often, like every 10 years, 30 years, something like that, you know, there's enough space down. between. Yeah. They'll pass it down. But there's a ritual that you got to do. Actually, you both have to have your feet submerged in water and having your, you know, your holy stuff that they put on, you know, uh, the, the uniform they put on. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, yeah, and garmics stuff. and whatever. And from Oils then, probably. I don't know yeah. if they could whisper it to you or they'll just say the name That's because wild. the name is so powerful. You know, it could cause, yeah. you know, you could heal your body from it. And they don't want this to everybody to know because of how powerful it is, and they don't want it to be misused. It's okay. crazy because in the story of Lilith, she uh, she she uttered the name of God, and I think that's what like sent God's wrath on her was the uttering of His name because it was so holy. So it's really common in these old texts to know that our Creator's name is super holy. But like you said, they're we're not probably, really worthy of saying. It. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it, it, who the fuck says that we're not worthy of saying it, right? Well, it's not because that. fuck them. Because at the end of the day, if, if we're not worthy, it's because somebody made us unworthy hey, through yeah. manipulation well, yes. over hundreds and hundreds of years. So at the end of the day, if he's that true God, then he should understand that it's not our fault. So really, well, it isn't. It's not because at the end message. of the day, what well, he made us different from his angels. And First all the of other all, creations. what God would you want to uh, believe in that says, "Hey, you're not worthy to say my name," like? What's not that what? It's Yo, not worthy. Yeah. Who the fuck See, what like, you gotta right. understand right. is is that it's so powerful. Our bodies, because we're sinners and and because we're so lost and you know out of touch, our bodies w can't handle such a powerful word. But, it's a powerful word. But again, we are born into sin. We inherited yes, sin, it's, and it's, it's and it's portrayed to choice. us. That's that's the thing he gave us. Some of us, power of choice. some 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 of us do have a choice to sin and some of us don't some of us see sin as an as a you look at these motherfuckers in these third world countries that gotta steal to survive and eat and gotta no, yeah, grab that apple when they walk by like i've what it what that one gandhi he gotta said he, he said he said he said god can only appear to some people as the form of bread Yo. like thank god i got this yeah. but it's, there's some people that know, don't know about religion there's some people that don't know about god in these countries and they're not they're not raised on it. And who, who, who says who's talking about the right God, really? Because when you start talking about, about when that. you start talking about like well, this, talk about when you start talking about um, the Hebrew God, and I'm telling you, this Jesus character, the Jesus Christ concept goes to from Sumerian. It goes from Sumerian to Greek to what we got now. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Hebrews in there, culture. but I don't think, like you said, if they're lying to us about it, I don't think we're nowhere near. I don't think his name's nowhere near close to us even. It could be I don't think they're giving us a bit of, of truth if they're I think oh, they're I think they got the outline of how things shit's supposed to go and they just made up their own fucking story. Cause this is the thing. When these Europeans went to fucking Africa and stole from them or went over there and stole from them, this this is why so many misconceptions and misunderstandings come into play. Cause these motherfuckers didn't stay in Africa long enough to understand what they were stealing. They just took it and went. So you ain't got a full understanding, you can't give everybody else a full right. understanding. And right. that's why we're all right. fucking right. confused and misunderstood right now. Well that right. also we're misled, like um hey, Exactly. Earlier. Exactly. Uh, we, they, they, you know, and what I was talking about, you know, what I was trying to get into with the, the Elohim, um, there are multiple gods out there. That people don't understand, and and it's crazy when you think about it because, um, at the end of the day, you know, he's still the one and Almighty. He's still the High, the, the Creator. You know, it says, you know, his name is mentioned as, as uh, a singular verb, um, verb, right? I guess, uh, 
two thousand times in the Bible that it's, if that's him as a single person, as him as the creator, the most high. The others they also But those are multiple different books, not to cut you off. Those are multiple different books that they're mentioning him in, and that's not the same God that's being mentioned in all those books, even if they're talking about it in a singular well, way. No, the Bible talks about many different gods. But the way they're written now, because it can't be see the things I don't get about Christians sometimes, you know, even the, its own Bible says if you change one word, it's no longer holy. Right. Every so often it's changing, it's changing, it's changing, it's changing. So like people it's a lot of contradictions, right? Yeah. You know, they, yo, it's no longer holy what you read. Just from interpreting it from and then the passage of time, it's gonna change. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not. It's and not, we're not the supposed same. to make the Bible to to comfort us and make it easier us for understand. We have to go through the trouble and learning the Hebrew language what and up? learning. The original language, because at the end of the day, their Who sayings are very that? different from what exactly. It's hard. Maybe it's that's hard, the so mission. No, that's maybe not. that's the mission. Is if you want the secret knowledge, you got to really, really work for it. Well, you got to understand, God is not talking to us. <coughs> so that book was written two thousand years ago. Uh, my bad. God was not, you know, talking to us. Yeah, he was talking to, talking the to these people, people two thousand years ago, and he. But which God are you talking about? Saying, like which book? Yeah, Yahweh, so, uh, the I mean, Most High. Which book though? When because to me in. Deuteronomy, all these different books. When uh, Enoch and when he, when every when they're talking about gods, you can't just leave. You can't just take the King James version and say we're basing it off of that. You got to look at the Hippocrates text. You yeah. got to look at the Gnostic text. You got to look at pantheons, and you got to look at everything that was left out. Why well, say then, King James? Because it's the one that's supposedly interpreted from the Hebrew yeah, Bible. Can for I, sure. Can I well, actually, King James comes from Latin. Then Latin, the Latin version comes from Greek, and the Greek came from Aramaic, and Aramaic came from Hebrew. Can I ask a quick question, <laughs> to y'all gentlemen? So, like, what do you think about like other cultures that have nothing c c even similar to the Jesus story? I mean, there's a lot of cultures that share the same story, the Jesus mm -hmm. or the Samaritan, but there's, there's cultures least, that have nothing to fucking do least, with Jesus. There's at least one little bit that. Almost makes it tied. All every, right. So every, like, every religion. So like in for Mexico, sure. Hold on a second. Hold on. A second, hold on okay. Let me clarify. Talk to me, baby. Every religion has at least something that's like Jesus and him dying, I agree. rising from the dead. Um, three days the days Asian, like, the, chi the Chinese got a, the Chinese got a Jesus with a slanted eye. A Chinese Jesus. You go every country, Guatemala. They got their Guatemalan sure. Jesus. Everybody got their own Jesus. Well, that's in now, Christianity, but though. it's not in Christ. Well, it's in Christianity, but it's on different continents. But and the thing, that's least, Christianity. Like, but the thing, like two to three things. Well, I'm, talking the most I'm, I'm talking about outside of Christianity. The most creditable religions. All right. Um tell the story of somebody that was that that was crucified somebody that rose after three dead somebody that was born of a virgin birth they don't call him jesus and he don't look like jesus that's not but the most credible that's the most no, i'm not the most credible well, the most i mean the that's most the credible most religion yeah. the most yeah. mainstream religions all say that and yeah. not only that like 90 percent of all, right. all ancient religions share the the flood story so what yeah. you're saying so it's on every continent of the earth well, the there's flood evidence story. too of the flood story there's uh, evidence uh, of the flood so, for sure so so for instance like in mexico uh, or 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 in that in um, in that area, they believe in like different gods like Quetzalcoatl, uh, Quetzalcoatl, and uh, like the serpent. Like they believe in way different stuff than Jesus and all that other thing. Yeah, but I'm just saying like look why, at the Native why, Americans. But why why yeah the, the yeah Hopi. the neighbor the Hopi they the, believe the turtle climbed out of the sea and that's where we came from. So like why creation. do we discredit nice. like not every religion believes in a Jesus type character or. Uh, so they sh uh, share things. Uh, the creation story is found in a lot of cultures, a lot of religions. But, but I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of cultures and religions that's been around way longer than Christianity, uh, Islam, and uh, Hebrew, uh, uh, and they differ way. Like, th there's nothing. But like we discredit all that. Like we every like right now we're talking about the Bible. Like it's well, yeah. I'll it, tell you what those are. True but that's guys. the the idea, the topic of guys. the discussion today is the the Christian Bible, yeah, Jesus, that, and stuff like that. No, no, it's yeah, not like a what, overall religious. That would yeah, no, no, a no. Lot, but that's um, what I'm saying. What do you feel about them? Like they because they have ancient texts and scriptures and and all that shit well, and, and ideology. Um, I'll let you answer that. But for me. It's the same. I feel like if you're born in a, in a certain, it depends on. It, it, it depends on where you're born, and you're gonna. That's that's what a religion you're gonna adapt to. Well, yeah, true. But uh, 
the way they get all those different ones, obviously those are different gods who are really they they do exist. And so I, you, they tell you that they don't exist to discredit you and keep you on one god. But you think that they was really But they are. With, like, but the thing is they they're part of the Elohims. They're okay. not the Yahshua, the one almighty. They're the ones part of the council because they the Elohims are broken down to five entities. You know, there's Elohel, the most powerful. So I got it right here written down to tell you. Uh, talk, to to me, you. Talk, talk to me, baby. Talk to me, baby. Talk, talk, talk to me, baby. Not to mislead you. So the first one, obviously, the head leader is God of Israel. Okay. Elo, um, yeah. Um, he's El, Elohim, um, Yahweh. All right. So the second one will be the most heavenly hide will be his godly counselors. Well, who he goes to to talk to, you know, tells what to do or whatever it is. They do the stuff for him. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like a corporate, like a CEO kind of thing. You know, there's That's, all these levels. Yeah. Now they have the, the spiritual. Um, sorry, sorry. The demons. Uh-huh. They're out there, too. They're the ones. Um, well, they, they call it another word, though. They're not demons, but those are pretty much the ones that. Kind those of, are those succulent bis motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so, when he goes back to the oldest text the we could succubus. find, that's what they're called, and they're called demons, and they're also called yes. succulent bis. But but um, they're part of the uh, the Elohims as well. Then it would be the uh, angels, and then it would be the this me- this body dead. So, so do you believe he, in heaven? But, but you're talking. Uh, do like, I believe in oh, heaven? Shit. I. I believe there is a heaven right now. And, but and what and is, what type of not, form do you believe in it? Because if we're living in hell, well, who's to say somebody else on me, the other side of the world in a penthouse ain't living in heaven right now? Let me exp- so explain. why metaphorically can't both of them be on earth? Mm. Well, because for one, hell wasn't made for us. You know what I mean? It's not somewhere you're going to go. It, hell is not promised. Death is. You're going to die. For sure. If you don't follow the way it's supposed to be followed. Um, every Yes, every other one uh, promised you salvation. If all you got to do is follow them, follow this guy, do this, do that, it's on your right leg, left leg, whatever it is. Um, how do you get into heaven then? How do you get into heaven, man? Honestly, bro, knowledge, man, because the only way to know is to know. The so heaven truth. isn't heaven. Heaven is, and therefore is an advancement of consciousness, an advancement of knowledge. Advance. When, when I, all right, every time they say God in the Bible, honestly, to me, um, they're talking about aliens. They're talking about polytheistic gods, humans from other planets more intelligent than us, um, more, more than likely more technology than us. If you get into the story of the Tower of Babel and uh, if you get into the um, the Hammurabi, Hammurabi or uh, what, what's, what's the Indian one? The uh, uh, Maharabata. Maharata. When you get into Maharata. a Maharabata text and shit like that, they talk about these like you like he said you can't discredit these these other ones that aren't christian like either and they talk about they talk about deities or that flew across the land and had flying vehicles Almost and most every religion does every and when you li- and when you read these texts and as they advance and the years go by you can see that the advancement of their technology they went from these flying crafts went from making noises to hovering silently and no sounds like so i believe we've been visited right, right. plenty of times right. for a long time I think the humans have a history to getting on their knees and bowing to somebody that comes here and says we are God or gives themselves the name God or, anything or higher King. Than us, yes. Yeah, anything more technology or more what advanced than us. Something came down I mean, right now. well, I mean, I mean, I'm knowledgeable. I'm knowledgeable enough now to know to question and to seek. I'm not following anything. You come down here and say you're God, mm, you can get a middle finger, bro. <laughs> And that's just it. And if you can't, un- if you ain't God, and you can't understand why I'm coming from that, because all the manipulation here on Earth, any if you're that all-knowing God, you should be able to understand why I'm giving you the middle finger, and you shouldn't hold it against me. Because who the fuck, who, how am I supposed to know who you are? They don't say you're gonna come down like that, or they don't say you're, you know, you're gonna appear like this. Right. But so to me, they're fucking, they're they're humans, they're aliens, or people from other places, and. You, when you come down, you're and talking you, about God, or are you talking I'm, about? I'm the, talking the, about the, most of the times that, that God is referenced the, references and, okay, the older okay, scriptures, okay. the older ones, not like, like King Ezekiel, James and stuff like when that. God came to see Ezekiel. I mean, look at the, the book of Enoch, bro. You already know about the book yeah, of Enoch, bro. That was used to be in the Bible. It's it's, it's, it's in the, the Bible, it's now. omitted from the Bible, but it's in one Bible to this day. The Ethiopian Bible still has the book of Enoch, and he talks about gods or aliens or angels, yeah. whatever you want to talk about, coming down to this earth, taking him away. 
And when you start reading this shit, oh, he so say, they, right. he keeps saying they take me from one heaven to the second heaven. To the third. they're not they're taking them to other planets. They're them are heavens. Realms. They're other planets, other realms, other dimensions. I say I think they're other planets because he describes when he gets there that he sees people in like torture and uh and uh slavery, and he sees like unkind things happening to people. And he I think he even questioned why is this happening to them. I can't sure. I don't remember the answer. It's, it's a, a lot of shit, but talked about the nephilim angels coming down and taking uh human wives at, and fucking them and having kids with them offspring nephilim so, giants so the people the who, book of, uh, who who decided to take the books out of the uh the book of enoch right i get there okay. the book of enoch um he names 36 of these deities that said i don't care what the lord says the lord is the commander of the spaceship i don't care what he says i want to go down there and i want to fuck these bitches they ain't say it like that, but that's what they were saying. Practically. I don't care, but I want to go down there and I'm fucking. Bro, these are fucking aliens. These are other people. And, and um, who's Enoch and, uh, related to in gods. the Bible? Other gods. They're, they're the, the counselors. Yeah. A lot so, of them turned against them. So the the who removed the book of Enoch was the council of Nicaea. Where? The Council of Nicaea is the one who put every book that's in the King James Version today. Word. It's like a group of preachers and pastors that, that uh, your boy Constantinus had yeah, brought together word. and said, we need a political tool that that's fits not God. everything. That's, those are men. Man. Those are those men, are mortal men that everything that they put forward after that mimic them. You know, yes. uh, Max uh, um, Augustus. His his suff every suffix in his last name was U.S. Just like Jesus, U.S. Just like Zeus, U.S. Just like Prometheus. Most of the Greek gods end in U.S. Be these scribes, they were that that like when we were talking about scribes, these scribes that wrote the the Hebrew Bible into Greek or the Aramaic, the Hebrew Bible went to Aramaic and then Aramaic went to Greek. The people that 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 wrote it, they were scribes. These were pagan scribes. That means they were pagan were, god worshippers, well, sun worshippers. Both of the religions together. So. What they did is they paid homage to their main supreme deity, which was Zeus. They paid homage to him, and that's why Zeus and Jesus ends in the same thing. And then before that, you had Julius Caesar, JC, or JC, and then you got Jesus Christ, JC. And then there's so many parallels that you can't say, all right, this all happened by accident. Like, bro, they did it on purpose. And once you start looking for it, you can see the information. That, you off, man. Exactly, bro. So it's already there. Yeah, well, most but. people don't know too. Nowadays, if you know you follow the Bible, no matter what religion you are, it's the Roman Catholic Church who controls your Bible. The uh, other ones that keep in. You um, mean like if you're Protestant, doesn't matter. Mormon, Jehovah Witness, or it all comes from the Roman yeah, Catholic Church, the Vatican. Or, they're the ones that damn, control. Or, they're the ones that took I didn't out even know so that. many Bibles. Even yeah, even or, like the Latter Day Saints or whatever. What are they called? Well, Latter Day Mormon? Saints. I mean, that's not a real religion. That's your door and all that, right? Scientology yeah, and shit. Religion. Those aren't real religions. That's not. Yeah. So you're talking yeah, about yeah, like ancient, different. real ancient, whatever like real religions that go back. That Bible. Yeah. From that book. No, those are all under the Christian umbrella. Well, that's Catholicism. Yeah. 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 But I mean, at the end of the day, it's the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. Where? But my point, my thing is, they don't, they don't acknowledge the Gnostic text. Gnostic, 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 Semitic meaning the knowing, the all knowing. So, and they tell different Hebrew stories of, um, they talking about, uh, uh, Joseph, Joseph, uh, Joseph, whatever his name is. That's true. No, Joseph something. He, 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 he was hired by like the Greeks or the Aramaic to like translate the first one to translate all the Hebrew shit for them. And he was basically telling his own stories and shit. But, um, fuck, what was it? There was, a, <laughs> there was a, there was a, I can't remember the names and shit because I don't even got my notes. I'm trying to go off of memory and shit. But you need that <laughs> I, I got one coming soon. Hey, I'm going to be on my Alex Jones shit, my InfoWars shit, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reading from a teleprompter behind you I'm and shit. I'm telling you. Yeah. It's in my shopping cart on Amazon. I'm there. just broke, and bitch. I'm, I have the proof. <laughs> I have the proof. But what do you think? What do you think about the idea of these gods clearly they're not all the same if you see if you see the way that they act some of them act jealous some of them act out of rage maybe Ooh, it's just a human just acting out of different emotions can i expound but on what that? are what uh My bad. damn <laughs> what do you think about the idea of these being different beings or different humans from other places and not just like a manifestation because if you think of heaven the way the bible puts it you know god sitting on a throne in a white robe with a white beard and Word. got angels on his side and it's like all right nah, just... all right but so yeah all right like like muhammad ali said if god's wearing a robe then 
then there must be cotton in heaven, right? And if there's cotton, who's picking it? Who's making the robes? Like, wow. and they go in it, and they always talk about honey and honey and milk and and you know shit like that, and, and being in heaven. Like, all right, well, who's preparing it? Like, the servants. Like, there's there's slaves in heaven now. Like, well, I'm you sure just can't are. get away from this shit. I'm sure they are, man. I mean, somebody got to serve these gods. I believe this, this is why I don't buy it. I believe when you say these gods. I believe you, you're talking about aliens and you're talking about aliens that came well, here see, maybe to enslave us because when you get into the Sumerian story, right, and they talk about us use, like creating us to mine gold, right, worship is is obviously synonymous with, with God and going to Sunday service or whatever and shit. So you worship your God. All right. You know, the, the, the word worship in Hebrew means avad. The Semitic meaning for avad means to work for. So literally these early men had no other choice but to work for their God. And then when you get into the meaning of Torah, Torah means to direct, to give guidance. And then B-I-B-L-E, Bible, basic That's instructions before leaving earth. They're trying to guide you still and direct you. Listen, you're created to work. That's why you fucking, when you're young, you go to school. What do you take home? Schoolwork. You, you do schoolwork and then you take work, homework, homework, home, homework, homework. And then it gets you prepared for fucking big work like we're doing now. Yeah. You, when well, is you never not going to work? No, well, that's what we're meant to. That's Some people might get, now. 2% of the people in the population might get lucky and be able to retire and not have to work again. We're not part of no, that. No, we are created bro. to work, man. That's why a lot of people have problems sleeping because we're not out there working how we're supposed to do to get tired at night. The, I, I believe these books and these work. scriptures tell us we're there to work i don't believe we're here to work i don't believe our destiny is to work and die no oh, no not work and no. die the thing is no. it's here to, at the end of the day I you mean, gotta work, work for whatever you want no no no, 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 no. Yeah. i think the earth provides enough natural resources for every man woman and child to live comfortably until the end of time but people cho choose to hoard these resources and take them from us yeah so really really man. we're not supposed to we're really really we're not supposed to live to work we're supposed to work to live like yeah. i'll go out and hunt for my food and i'll get my shit okay, and i'll I get go and, and, that, and, yeah. and that's where we're supposed to be we're not supposed to clocking in and spending i yeah, mean f right. who created 40 hours of a work week and then 40 hours of work week 24 hours in a day you work eight a to ten hours you like, drive feel like a slave, <laughs> you, you, you commute to work which is some people two hours of drive back and forth so that's like fucking 10 12 hours right there then you got to sleep eight hours that's 20 hours you got four hours to do what the fuck you want who 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 put that process in place to give us only that much time and that much time you're you're getting gas you're shopping you're paying bills right you're doing your extra shit in your free time when are you thinking <laughs> when are you doing research right. when are you being able to question shit right. you're not because they got fucking the new um iPhone fucking iphone 11. in your face they got a new video game in your face like come on bro like this shit ain't no accident this shit wasn't uh, placed there like that it's control it's alone. mind control on the highest fucking level dog <laughs> yeah but you're able to escape mind that mind control, control man you just gotta wake up well, yeah, I'm not saying you're not. Yeah, that's the whole that's point. The first step, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just bringing to attention what's going oh, on, and I'm, I'm trying to diagnose it and bring it uh, to awareness, if you will. If you will. You gotta, uh, if you will, you will. Put that shit in the L. <laughs> but this is why I say these are different. These are different gods, and these are different people, and they're probably aliens. Because especially when you get into the book of Deuteronomy and Moses, right. that's not that's not no kind, justice, loving, caring yeah. God that you're talking about. Right. He's telling these people, go to this new land, take it, kill whoever's there if they try to fight you, rape the women, take the spoils, keep whatever that's girls you want man. as your wives. That stuff is twisted, so who it, knows if those are being... That's bro, how that's no God. That's no God those that I'm... First of all, I don't get on to... It. I don't... I don't I don't fuck with any religion that makes me get on my knees. Second of all, <laughs> I would never bow to a guy that me as a human, I mean, as so mortal person, no, I wouldn't do no shit like that. And I couldn't do no shit like that. And if I had the power, I couldn't command somebody to do no shit like that. Oh, but you're saying this God is telling you to do this, especially when all the firstborns, the plague killed all the first firstborns in like Egypt and shit. Like, yeah. bro, there's no fucking way. That's not a God that I'm, I'm looking human to characteristics for sure. And that's not and divinity. That's so, human. so there, and and that's human from maybe another fucking planet. No. Who fucking knows? Well, I mean, when you say alien, another you solar system. What does alien mean? Alien means you're not from here. That's why I keep I calling mean, them humans, like just humans from well, somewhere gods, else. Guys, guys. I mean, if like, you know, they're pretty much one and the same. Because at the end of the day, what other I'm, elements are there in space, though? Right, we're all created from the same shit. They couldn't be too much fucking different than us. There's other, yeah, but they're higher. I beings. mean, there there are intelligent wise. They could evolve longer and they could have been around longer. Sure, they could be. Their journey could be uh, experiencing something else. Like we're not 
you know, like shoot. I said, we're the lowest of the low. We're down we're, there at the we're, bottom. We're spirits on a human journey right now. Ooh. We we existed before this avatar body that our conscious is being projected into. So we we. Yeah, Acid. we we ex- <laughs> let me say that again for Carlos. We existed. <laughs> our soul existed long before. No, no, no. Um, I, I and these it. are these are our consciousness is being projected oh, into an avatar body. Uh, Nikola Tesla was quoted saying that our bodies are receivers of energy of consciousness, and there is an ultimate source out there that we can tap into. Scientists call it junk DNA. <laughs> or later, <Yeah. laughs> scientists call it junk DNA. But the shit's fucking real. And not only that, right now they're measuring how much um, information, terabytes or whatever, that you can get into a strand of DNA. And they came up with a number of each human can store 13.5 billion years of information in their their DNA. Uh, Coincidentally, coincidentally, that's how old the universe is. So I believe our souls were created when the universe was. And right now is just a certain cycle that we're going through. We're not permanent on Earth. We live and we die. We're not permanent. I believe we're here to learn. Um, We're here to grow. We're here to help each other. We're here to love. We're here to gain knowledge and wisdom. And then we and then we die and we go on to the next part of our journey. I think it's that simple. We don't do none of that shit, though. None of it. That's what we're, we're supposed to do. Man. Yeah, we're yeah. distracted. People ain't got we're, philosophies. We're out of touch yeah. from yeah. source. Oh man, people we're don't right. have philosophies, bro. Uh, yeah, for sure. And Spawn then on that concept. so that's that's why, yeah. like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I read so much, and I read before the Bible, and I read. If you go to UCLA.com, there's a, a virtual translator. Uh, Greg knows about it. There's a virtual translator where they will translate Sumerian tablets for you. They have over a million Sumerian tablets. You can pick it up off the shelf with your mouse and drop it in a virtual translator. And you can read what it says for yourself. Bro, every almost everything from Genesis came from Sumerian text. Noah's story came from Sumerian text. The um, Tower of Babel came from Sumerian text, right? You want to get into that? Tower of Babel, what is, what is that to you? Tower of Babel, that's what uh, we all got divided, man. That's all right, when so it divided the heavens and the earth, and it's basically a, a story of a fall from grace type story, yeah. right? We were all connected, we were all one, and then boom, different languages, right? right. So yeah. this is my point. Why? Because they were trying to reach a tower that reached uh, to reach to God. The sky. So this, so that's why the misinterpretation comes in, and I believe it wasn't a tower. I believe it was a launch pad. We were trying to mimic a rocket launch pad to reach them. How they landed, we were trying to redo that. And whether if it was just fucking made of sticks and stones or if it was real mechanics that actually worked, I don't know. That's probably real but mechanics, man. And, and even if – I think we were here long enough to have the real mechanics. But even if it wasn't and if it was just a shell, a shell, right, of what it would have been, and they came down and seen that, like, all right, these men are living 900 years. They got time to probably actually make this one day. And in the book of uh, – and when they talk about the Tower of Babel, they talk about – how uh, God and or whoever came and the Elohim they came down and, and they made our them. lifespan they cut our lifespan to 120 years or some shit like that or, or oh, because um, the way we were acting but all the stuff the technology that we were learning we were learning from the other Elohim they the say that turned against Yahshua well we were in and when you get to the oldest texts in the world these Sumerian texts we were way I'm sorry Yahweh when you get into these Sumerian texts which is the oldest text in the world they talk about how the gods gave us knowledge from the get go and we was socialism like we was we was born we was created with all that like i said we had the choice um immortality or knowledge and we chose knowledge and and we chose to die but let's have the knowledge because that's what we're here for to gain conscious and be more knowledgeable so who gives a fuck about the immortality if you don't fucking know anything right. all right so we in the sumerian yeah. text we chose this we chose forever. this <laughs> but the all right so in, like all right either way at the end of the day they they shortened our lifespan to 120 years so we didn't live long enough capable of recreating another rocket ship or whatever to get to them or whatever so scientists now have studied our telomeres and our chromosome number two, and they've been fused off at the end. And our light, in the most pristine condition on the planet, a human can live to 120 years, right? Scientific proof right now. No, no longer. So in our telomeres and our chromosomes number two, it's been fused off for our lifespan at 120 years. And it goes back to these biblical texts, right? Tower of Babel, which go back to Sumerian texts. Bro, this shit is fucking wild. <laughs> but who knows if the same bo- the stories ain't the same ones, you know. Most of them are. They just slightly change in details and in names every time it goes to a new culture and shit. But also, like, the Bible, where, like, they're all talking about the same area. Like, uh, Mesopotamia, the Garden of Eden, mm-hmm. that's all. In- that's all in the... 
that's Mesopotamia like, area, East, Iraq. Basically. All right, yeah. so um, Sumeria is modern day Iraq. But so of course, yeah. a lot of this shit is gonna fucking match and marry each other. But if you go over to China with the Qing Dynasty and all that shit, and their culture is just as old. They don't talk about no fucking. Uh, What's in Turkey though? Go back to Tepe. All right. That's Turkey is in northern Mesopotamia. That's close. It's in northern it's Mesopotamia. To, yeah. Mesopotamia is a Greek word means in between two rivers because it was right. in the Tigris and the Euphrates, Euphrates River. Yeah, yeah. And that's where the Garden of Eden is at, yeah, right? That, or the Garden of Eden is modern day Iraq, yeah. Word. It's fucking, I actually, I think if you do like some Google Quest or some shit, I think the, the maps might take you to Turkey for the, for the Garden of Eden. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, but it was said to be Iraq though. Like that was the the popularized well, I'm idea. I'm saying like a lot of that shit is gonna mirror because that all those stories came from like the same place. Yeah, for sure. So if if the oldest writing we have is Sumerian, and then the second oldest writing we have, like the Epic of Gilgamesh, is actually Babylonian, and that's because they took that at, that story from Sumeria when they went in there and took over. They took their story, adopted it, changed the names to fit their king. Their king was Gilgamesh. They had a king Gilgamesh at the time took their names to, and and uh and the same thing happens every time like these or, these religions and these these cultures collide or mix they adapt something from the from the bigger one that just spread out or had better ideas and a lot of shit's mixed up bro and like i was saying and it's mixed up because when they when they fucking run up in a spot and take their shit they don't stay there long enough to understand what they're taking and they just take half of it or half the understanding of it half the meaning the of it and they can't explain well, maybe everything they do understand it just go against what they, they don't believe. want niggas to know it's a possibility that they could understand everything they don't want niggas to know but like oh if we they find we this we weren't out. really dumb back then man i mean I, tell you the truth we right now are far behind than what we were sure. in the beginning i That's think atlantis was yeah. real i think atlantis was real and we were woke as fuck it was a super high conscious civilization that was more conscious than other people there was different conscious levels on the earth i believe back then and sure yeah and maybe fucking atlantis was fucking wiped out from an alien race and thought we were getting too conscious or developing too much now when you hear stories about alien race contacting us they want to help us develop consciously oh we're here to help y'all get to the next level i hear that shit multiple times maybe that's fucking them just running shit and making us like they say oh you know, d- devil in the Bible, he's going to do this and he's going to go to war with God and he's going to lose. All right. Why is the devil going to do everything that's in the book when he knows he's going to fucking lose because it's in the book? Why still do it? Like, this shit well, don't make no, no fucking devil, sense, man. bro. There's really no devil. At the end of the Christians day, Christians don't know have, that, though. You tell a Christian that, they'll fucking us. faint, oh, bro. They'll fucking pass the fuck we out. We have the rebellious <laughs> inside of us. I mean, that, that's the, <laughs> the whole thing of us giving, you know, yeah. they gave us a choice Word. to make this choice. Exactly. If you want to yeah. do good, if you want to do bad. Can you help me also wrap my mind about like, all right, <laughs> if God is in the Christian Bible, if God is omnipresent, the Alpha and the Omega, which you well, he's uh he's everywhere at all times and like uh, all powerful being, why the fuck is the devil such a problem for him? Why can't he like if he, if God made the devil, why why is the devil putting up such a fight? Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? like, yeah. That don't Supposedly sense. there was like a wager who could like win more souls why over. Would and why would God exactly? Yeah, why would bro. God wager on us? Like what is what did we do? Even if we fell from grace from another life or you another dimension, it's uh, are we really to blame right now if we're not consciously aware of what the fuck happened? Like that's again that's man that's human characteristics. It's human. A, it's it's otherworldly. Human flaw. Yeah, for, human flaw. for sure. And I think I mean. I mean, if God exists, he exists in an energy form, and that's it. There's no realms, no spirit realms. We call it energy because you can measure energy. You can't me- measure a spirit. Right. You can measure energy. It's measurable. It's observable. It's, it's provable, right? So once you measure energy, you know the human anatomy, the human body is energy first, and it's matter second, right? right. There has to be energy pulling that matter together. Right. So it's energy first, and it's matter second. Before our energy was in our the avatar, the body we're in now, it existed, I believe. And not only did it exist, it's, it has to go through the cycle that we're going through to advance consciously or whatever. And it's like energy is pure. It's energy don't know if it's good and energy don't know if it's bad. It's, it's the intent. Energy. It's the intent yeah. that one gives that energy that sends it in the direction of evil or good. Word. So it's the human it's the human and that's why we're here to learn and see how many times we'll make that right decision over that wrong decision maybe i don't know so my thought on god is and you know feel free to chime in fellas we uh, ain't even asked bro what are oh, you talking about sure. no, <laughs> never mind no never mind let's hear this no this i should feel be interesting. like i feel like um 
I got first of all, like a lot of people in in in, in the Christian community, they, when they refer to God, they always say He and Him. He and Him is a human characteristic. Could have been like, a she. Sure, it could have been. She also is a human. What you know that was created that ain't come out of a womb. Any right. even plants and shit like that. They, there you they go. like well, bro, talk bro, about that. Some books do talk about him having a wife. That might make him to him. God Ooh, having the a wife. Or Don't tell me God, God was a wife. trainee, bro. Don't tell me it but had again, both men. Th- those no. are human Bruh. qualities, human characteristics. <laughs> like, why would like, God need a wife? Or why? Eh. So, like, I don't know. But I feel like exactly. God is conscious. That, her, that reoccurring of human features right. and human. Word. Yeah. So I feel like when we talk about God or what they were talking about God in our ancient scripts and textures that we lost translation is uh, God is an energy. Like the energy that you was just talking about. God is consciousness. God is nature. And I think that we're all a part of God. Like we're 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 all sure. a part of this collective one consciousness. God that, yeah, that's the, the monkeys and shit that I was not, telling you. Earlier, we're all connected. Yeah, not God as in a being floating in a cloud with a white beard, an energy, passing an energetic on God. That's not God. Yeah, hell no. God that's is human. energy. God is wisdom. God is knowledge. God is nature. Sure. God is and you're God. I'm God. You ever like heard of the that, God particle? Word. Mm-hmm. They create. They found a God particle that said supposedly Simpsons, created everything. Nigga? They found it in the right? Simpsons, they, nigga. That motherfuckers crazy, find right? everything before real life finds it, dog. It's wild. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like. I feel like uh, they had an well, Elon Musk episode before Elon Musk was born. <laughs> Holy shit. So what, what do you gentlemen think? What do you feel about it, uh, concept? How you, what, do you, what do you think about that? What's oh, your? Man, that's you're gonna put me on the spot. No, nah, I'm not saying. I'm, I'm not saying. I'm <laughs> He's right. like, bitch. I'm taking in way too I'm much just, information I'm right just now. Saying, that's like, how like, I feel about it. I want to know how y'all feel about it, and I'm not saying I'm right and y'all wrong. I just want to know what's up. I just yeah, yeah, for sure. Healthy, well, healthy shit, discussion. I'm be honest. Um, he believes everything I said, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna follow him. I'm with disciple, him right disciple. Right disciple. <laughs> and again, like you know, like, you're going come with me, and you'll be a fisher of men. Again, this is this is this is coming from somebody that feels like I I don't do enough research. You know what I'm saying? Respectable. You feel me? Yeah. Um, a lot of people won't say that. Which yeah, is which is which is honestly which is, which is which is honestly, I don't I don't even feel like commenting. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, like, That's apart, fair. like, sure. like, honestly, honestly, because knowing, like, I, I want to know, like, I, I like, I want to know at least a little bit more before I That's touch subjects right. like that. That's the best you thing. Feel me? Like, you feel me? Only because, like, you know, like, I, I just don't know what, I mean, you know, I don't. That's your answer. That's the most intelligent. Right yeah, that's the most intelligent you know decision you could say. Oh, like, honestly, shit. honestly, like, that's you your know, answer. Boom. A, a lot of people should. But if you were leaning towards a way. What you think about who who are what what kind of gods are they talking about when you now that you hear a lot of different you know points of view and different information? What do you think about these gods that they're talking about? What do you think they're aliens? You think they're real energy beings? You think they're just fucking f- stories to control people? I don't know, nigga. Yo, yo. <laughs> what I mean, what were, no no no, what will you be so, leaning towards so, so, most so, likely? I mean, based off the information gotta, we just gave well, you, well, what what well, would you well, pick? Well, 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 Without your research, with the, well, with that and you know being of of a religious background you know what i'm Boom. saying i feel there's something watching over us Word. right you know what i mean don't know exactly what that is you know what i'm saying i'd rather lean towards the side of i'd rather lean towards the side of i know that there's an entity out there i don't know if it's i don't know for if sure it's aliens though okay you know what i mean intelligent like, and I, something and intelligent I feel, like a, I feel i feel like a duck and i'm trying to duck the, nah. the question nah, too. Nah, 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 but good. like but honestly like you know what i mean like there's no right or and, wrong and answer truth, and truthfully yeah. you feel me like yeah. like it's just opinionated you know, opinion. like you know like opinion based there's something watching you for know sure. what i'm saying like okay. we could be somebody's tv right now you know what i'm saying that's that's that that we could, what's that shit, shit you called feel me? what's that shit simulation yo, yo, you know what they said yo, they said yo, in two yeah, years the game sims right they said in two wow. years the game sims the, those those people in there are going to be conscious get the fuck they're, they're making that, their own decisions no no that they're going to be they're going to know that they're a video game being no. played by somebody and who the fuck uh, says that we ain't that right now bro that's crazy right there man who Let's talk about it. Hey, <laughs> he's like, hold on, I like games. No, 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 no. G shit. Um, no, no, no. Because you're talking about AI that's just simulated, but they're just gonna be, they're just gonna be self-aware. You know, a- you know, AI was also <coughs> talked about in the Sumerian text. Robots and AI was talked about in Sumerian when they were yeah. trying to before they manipulated the ape woman to come up with a hybrid worker, right? Um, 
they they tried they tried AI and they tried robots and shit and they they didn't have the means to duplicate that many robots from on Earth and you talk about okay let's make twenty million robots on our planet and bring them to Earth how are you gonna transport that shit so it was like more likely let's let's manipulate a resource that's already here and let them do the work for us than trying to do all this extra shit so it's like people were like why Grace. would they ju- why would they just manipulate this why wouldn't they 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 talk about trying to use robots and AI and shit like back then and shit. It's fucking wild. They were mining gold. They were mining when they first landed. They landed in Persian Gulf, Eridu. They called it Earth Station One, Persian Gulf. There's fucking temples underwater there too. It's crazy, man. <laughs> so all right. So Yo. since all right, talking about the uh, 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 the Biblo, the Biblo, Biblo, uh, whatever. How you say that? Biblical. Biblioteca? How you say the Bible in Spanish? Oh, La Biblia. La okay, that's the word. What's going on in uh like uh with the um like uh when 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 Moses was freeing his people and you had the the frogs and the uh, uh bro like, that wasn't a god dog river. yeah yeah the the, the, the plagues that, the, the plague. plague sure do you think that was a thing or I think, think there's I think there's a scientific lo- explanation for all those plagues I can't like remember all of them um off. Do you think that was pulled out their ass, or you think they got, got that from something? No, I think it came from. Talk to me, Go baby. Ahead. Talk Man, to me, baby. Honestly, bro, if you if you pay attention to that now, we see that today. For Chemical sure. welfare, red tide, okay. and they used to do that back then too. I, I remember. I, I that's seen a sign it of the There are China signs of chemical right warfare that, back then. Ancient chemical warfare. China, China or Genghis Khan, somebody like that, was the first one to do biological warfare, where they would throw the dead bodies oh, over. Yeah, that's right. With yeah. the live people to and decompose. The, yeah, yeah, the, the decomposition. Decompose, yeah, and disease process, will come yeah, alive. Yeah, yeah, get yeah. Sick and Boils all stuff, and yeah, people will die. They were testing that shit out. Man, that, just that like fucking Saddam Hussein so was maybe testing. That's what you that, was. Think that was some type of. Maybe so. He's right. So this is this is what it was. Um, there so was a, Moses there was, a, was no. There was an algae bloom that that made the rivers turn red, and that algae bloom was killing fish and yeah, shit like that. Like and that, the fish, yeah. you know, got stuck on the shore like dead fish do. And the and the frogs fled, fled the land, <clears throat> basically laid laid eggs that hatched, and uh. The locusts, so, the locusts came from all that, and that's because they had to get out of the water because and of the algae the bloom. And then, died. and then, um, it, the the firstborns died most likely because the the wheat that uh, uh, wheat was like ninety percent of their meal, their diet, and uh, all the wheat was affected by the locusts or some shit. It had a disease or some shit. And back then, the that means the firstborn ate the most. They had the biggest portion of the meal to make sure they live yeah, on and shit. Like sick. So they probably got the sickest because they ate the most. Like There's a scientific explanation for all of that shit. Do they have a story like that in the, uh, the, the Sumerian tablets and shit like that? About the plagues? The plagues and shit? Actually, that's or a good that question. No, that? that's a really good question because I never, I never even um, looked at that. Wow. I always thought scientifically we can prove that kind of anyways like today, right. like you were saying with the carcasses and shit. And, you know, like the dead bodies from the frogs gave people bo- f- uh, f- had fleas and lice. Yeah. It gave people boils and shit like that. So yeah. on that part, yeah. So I'm trying to find out. Uh, that's wild. Yeah. That's, a, that's where my brain goes. I'm like, where the fuck that come from? Because, <laughs> I mean, like uh, you were saying earlier, um, what I do believe is, you know, how you talk about these aliens come down. Aliens and gods mean the same thing. What well, is aliens? Somebody's not from here. Oh. So, obviously, all these gods are not from here because this was created after them. But saying that, um, these aliens, whatever, come down and they teach them the t- this technology. Like, nowadays, you know, uh, where's that place in uh, Mex- is it New Mexico, Arizona, where the, um, the first sighting, a UFO sighting or whatever? Roswell. Can I read something? There you go. Can I read something really go ahead, quick? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, so... In 1400 BC, a group of nervous Egyptians saw the Nile turn red, but what they thought was blood was actually algae bloom, which killed the fish, which prior to that had been living off the eggs of frogs. Those uneaten eggs turned into record numbers of baby frogs who sub- subsequently fled to the land and died. Their little rotten frog bodies uh, attracted lice and fleas. The lice carried a plutong virus, which killed 70% of Egypt's livestock. Uh, the flies carried glanders and bacteria infections, which in humans caused boils. Soon afterwards, the uh, Nile River Valley was hit with a three-day sand st- sandstorm, otherwise known as the Plague of Darkness. During the sandstorm, intense heat and combined with approaching cold front to create only not hail, but also electrical storms, which would look to the ancient Egyptians as fire from the sky. Subsequent winds... Uh, subsequent... Where am I? Um... Sub- subsequent winds would have blown the Ethiopian locust population off course right into downtown Cairo. 
um hail is wet locust leaves dropping plagues spread both on grain and you have microtoxins uh dinner time in egypt's meant the firstborn got the biggest portion um in case in this case meant they had the most toxins so they died 10 plagues 10 scientific explanations so what you're saying is that it's a possibility that it went down but it wasn't a god or a divine intervention it was That's just a hell of a coincidence you know what i mean scientifically explained all right i don't so I, don't, I don't i think it's cause and effect if you look at it i don't think it's coincidence that it happened that way i think this if the, no, no, the no. I it's, think it's, just like if just take a hurricane, take a hurricane, and it is a coincidence. If, if shit is in the right place at the right time, you're gonna get this outcome, and I think that was just kind of what so happened. It is cause and effect and a coincidence at the same time, my nigga, because you never get that anomaly. <laughs> no, that but concept though, yeah, but there's but somebody, saying, somebody like, cause it. You'll, you'll never get you'll ne- you'll never get that mixture that part, again because we do like, have we can manipulate the weather now. You ain't never talking about. We can manipulate the weather now. What do you think fucking chemtrails are? We can manipulate the weather. What do you think? You see fucking planes driving over, like, flying over the top of hurricanes, dropping shit in them, like, trying but to d- dissolve it. them or whatever. We had weather We had weather control, or at least weather manipulation Heart. in um, Vietnam. We yeah. fucking made it rain on them for 40 to, or 52, Large. three months straight or some shit like no. that. Which, and if there's references to that, that rain... The crazy rain and Forrest Gump. It, it just Gump. started raining out sideways. of nowhere. Sideways rain, up down rain, this way. We're like, bro, why would they do that? They're dropping message. Message. Yo. yo. <laughs> so I, I believe if we can manipulate weather even a little bit, anybody that's even 500 years to 1,000 years advanced than us probably can is shit. Who says these, these Anunnaki's or these aliens or these guys that came from the earth were a billion years more advanced? They could only been fucking... Uh, their planet in these Sumerian Texas, they're planet hopping. They're planet hopping. They're not oh, coming yeah, from super far. Yeah. So they're not super advanced. Super they could only be four or 500,000 years more advanced than us. Awesome. Who knows? Because uh, uh, if you read these stories... They got fucking technology in these stories that we have now. If you take a wireless PlayStation and drop it back in the Stone Age and they, oh, how are you controlling this from that? Like, take a motorcycle like your boy said. Take a motorcycle and drop it in the Stone Age. They're going to be baffled. They what might, the fuck they is might that? examine it. <laughs> they it might take them a while to turn the key. Maybe one of them will drive it, learn how to master it, but they'll <laughs> never be able to duplicate it. They'll never they be able to make to it again. First. And that's where we were when Pop these the gods touch. came. They had technology that we couldn't duplicate, but we tried in the Tower of Babel. We tried. And they shortened our lifespan, so we couldn't. But time advanced, times rolled on, and shit, we got, bro, supposedly we got fucking alien art, of, alien crafts. And one of them uh, is from a, from an archaeological dig that's like three million years old or some shit. Segway, nah. nice segue. So, Carlos, can I ask you? Hmm. What's up? So, so in the text when uh, Ezekiel, uh, when God came to Ezekiel, when they talked about the will within the will, what do you what do you think that was? Will with, with the will? Yeah, and then can I can I rebuttal that? But go ahead, yeah. Tell me what you um. think of it. I'm about to look that one up, my friend. But are you honestly, familiar with that story? I'm not. I'm oh, not shit. My bad. Well, I didn't mean to call on. you out like I, that. I, I, Who is? No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. There's a story in the Bible where God came to Ezekiel, and God came down. They called it a chariot. And uh, he and Ezekiel described the, uh, the chariot, uh, God's vessel, as a wheel within a wheel, like spinning and shit. And then they also had measurements in I the know, Bible. I know where it comes from. Sumerian. For sure. But Sumerian text, we made a vow to the gods, sure. and they were standing in front of their chariot when we made a vow so, to so, them. All right, so I'm asking, but I was asking, but uh, if you're I not mean, familiar, that's where it I guess you can't answer, but not where it comes from. What do you think they were talking about, about the will within the will? Do you think it was a legit uh, I think it was like a covenant. A vision, or do you think they saw a legit vessel? And if it was a vessel, why does God need a vessel to travel? If God's gonna human like human like tendencies and human like, but concepts. that's in the Bible when, because when Ezekiel not, met God. It, uh, it, it describes that when you decipher everything you say about God and you listen to His emotions and the way He comes and shit like that, it's <coughs> it's it's human, bro. Matter of fact, you said we were super conscious at one time, right? You believe that we were, right? I'm with you on we, that we're one, we're in fucking South America, super fucking woke. Life right now is starting again in Africa, and they're evolving, and now they're leaving Africa, right? So we fly over. We're flying because we're super fucking well. We fly over to Africa and see native men, and they see us. 
thinking we came from the heavens because we're dropping down but really we just came from fucking south america because we're super advanced right now we drop down and we bring the concept to god to them us it could have been us from somewhere else too can I, can there's I, so much shit that comes no, into play right, right. like bro but nobody I, will it, ever know man it could have been though can i drop a monkey agartha, wrench on that one, agartha in her earth can I drop a monkey wrench on yeah, that one? Ahead. Or try to anyway? Yo, yo, right. that, was, that wasn't provable. That wasn't unproved. Yeah, but yeah. I was just saying maybe that's possible no. too. All that shit is. It's, if sure. it's logical, then it's possible. Like, But there's a tribe in Africa called the Dogon tribe, mm-hmm. right? And they're they're a mud hut, stick and stones tribe. Mm-hmm. And um, Are they still there? I thought Yeah, no, yeah. They're still, they're, they're still there. But I'm sure they're more modernized than ever. But when we discovered them... Uh, in the late 1800s to early 1900s, I say we, but I mean, excuse me, I mean like modern, like Europeans or whatever. But when they discovered them, uh, anyway, they would practice this ritual and this dance with these masks and these uh, tools mm-hmm. and stuff. And uh, they all would perform this ritual, I think, every 60 years. It wasn't like a yearly or annual uh, celebration. It was a 60-year celebration. But um, but anyways, when, when the European, when the people asked them, like, what the hell are you guys doing? They explained to him um, uh, that it was the story of the gods coming down to earth and giving them uh, knowledge. That's law, the ritual that. that they were doing. Yeah. yeah. But they, so they asked him, all right, where do your gods come from? And this is in the 1800s. They, they pointed out in the sky where you couldn't see with the human eye, and they didn't have telescopes back then, but Sirius A and Sirius B. That's a star that uh, uh, system that we didn't locate until the 1970s. Where is it at? In the direction of the constellation Orion? Orion, yeah. All right, so the check this out. Star, you know what it is? Sumerian text. It says, let the heart of the plane reflect the heavens. If our creators came from if our creators came from Orion's belt, yeah. that Sumerian text would explain why the pyramids are, 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 are facing Orion's All belt and lined up. Because those texts say, let the heart of the plane, let the earth reflect the heavens. And that's why those pyramids are lined up to reflect the direction not only that i think in like fucking 1970 the new york times had posted some shit saying um on their front page saying that uh nas or uh, somebody or i actually wasn't even asked it was a college or something that they discovered a planet in the in the direction of the constellation orion that was so far away but still not far away enough to still be in our so it's still in our in our uh galaxy Uh, but it was just that yeah and they call in Sumerian text. They call it Nibiru. When I tell you Sumerian, if you look up the Sumerian tablets, and they got fucking this planet, that planet, the moon, everything in the right size, the right position, and then they have a ninth planet now. And that ninth planet is now being acknowledged uh, by NASA. Five different observable lines of evidence: gravitational poles and shit like that. That they're like, where are these gravitational poles come? There's got to be a planet out there with a different wobble, with a wobble to it. Also, wobble, baby, wobble, so baby, it's, wobble, they baby. said. To take away the idea of that planet would cause more problems than uh, to actually leave it there. So they know there is definitely a lot of evidence pointing to another planet out there, bro. It's fucking wild. All right, so Sumerians know, knew about it. I know you already <laughs> said that the rapture was added in late, but what, what do you guys feel about the rapture and shit? Like, uh, you I think mean, you think we living in the end of times now? I don't mm-hmm. think we get there mm-hmm. yet, Yo. but I mean, there is a spiritual war going on right now okay. that we don't see. Yeah, and I mean, sooner or later it will come that? to our eyes. You know what I mean? I'm with you elaborate, on elaborate on the yeah. spiritual, spiritual war. war. It's the same like what I'm talking about. These uh, these Learn gods, see, it has to do a lot with them. You know, and, um, as we keep going back to it, um, after you know the, the Tower of Babel, Babel, I can't pronounce yeah, it. Right. Babel. Babel, yeah, Babel, Babel. There yeah. we go. Um, that's uh, when he tower divided, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he divided yeah. the nations and yeah. he gave it to the sons of gods. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, back then, you know, there was no Israel. So the sons of gods was his angels, his counselors who was up there with him. That's where the division came his through servants. But there was no, uh, there was no Satan, you know, uh, that went to hell and, you know, was cast to hell in prison with his demons. It was not that there is a guy, you know, I can't think of his name right now that is similar to that story that has, you know, he was one of his. Yeah, it wasn't his right hand man, but he was probably based off an order mythological idea or some well, shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was the one who rebelled first. Yeah. he's the one that uh, you know everybody else followed and everything, mm-hmm. but he wanted to be worshipped. Still, you know, he wanted all that praise. Yeah. 
He Fuck was, yeah, you know, man. he was described like you know Satan was when he, or Lucifer when he was the angel, all yeah. shiny and nice looking yeah. and all that. Same description and exactly, basically, um, basically be cons- synonymous with the same person and shit. Exactly, yeah. 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 Well, um, supposedly that's kind of like where everybody, you know, is, you know, is divided with nations, different gods. Everybody worships somebody different. Everybody's got a true testimony. Oh, no, we somebody seen the guy. He walked down with us and all that. Or the aliens that come out of you know space, you know, the same gods. He's all the same people. Yeah. Think so. You know what I mean? Yeah. For well, sure. I mean, they're, they're the ones out there in space. You know, I mean, if they that. gave us knowledge. Every Supposedly, time. if they genetically manipulate us and gave us knowledge, then so can I? Humans, can, oh, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. No, no, humans um, come up every time with a new technology, a new piece of knowledge. Every time Word. there's an encounter with an alien, Word. like I was saying earlier, you know that place you said, Rosbury, whatever it's called, Roxwell, Roswell. At the same time, Motorola popped out of nowhere. You know, all these other companies are popping out oh, of nowhere. Yeah, every for time sure. there's a, Re- a alien. It's reverse engineering exactly. and shit, right? You know, who mm-hmm. knows if they took them down or they, you yeah. know, they worked with them. Who they knows what's really going they on? Yeah. But um, that's pretty much where we get all this technology from. That's right. why back then they were so far advanced. They were all on one page. You there know, is a why, super advancement of technology over the past like fifty years. Though. It has been. Yeah. So but, I, but then again, too, there, there has been technology back then too. Right. Like Abraham Lincoln had emails. You know, so yeah. can I, the Western Union was the same thing. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Internet, you yeah. Know? So can I ask you it's about a different this? form? But yeah. Uh, so in the Bible they talk about the devil and how his uh, or, or not in the Bible, but. Uh, we 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 know that the uh, the devil's name is Lucifer, the right. enlightened one. So right, so yeah. if if Lucifer, if we break down the translation of Lucifer, it stands to the light. Uh, it translates into the light bearer, or or and that translates in translates to uh, the enlightened one or one who enlightens. Mm-hmm. Now the I'm illuminated one, you, the illuminated one. Word, the illuminated one. So I'm just asking you fellas, do you feel like <laughs> all right? So say right now. My man over here is dropping knowledge on you. Uh, for instance, I'm the, uh, an example. And uh, you didn't know what he's talking about before, but now you know some shit, and it, it, it can help you in life. Do you feel that's a, a hindrance? Like, if that's bad or is that good? Bad and good meaning how? Like, yeah, you talking like about is that not evil? Like, like that not like... Like, if, he's, that, tell, if he, he, he's telling, like, saying you're ignorant to something, and, and you're fucking up because you're ignorant to something. You might be happy because you don't you don't know that you don't know shit. Right. Mm-hmm. But now he's dropping some shit on you. Be like, yo, Fuck. listen, if you do it like this or or check this out, I can show you something to make, you know, now you know what I know. Now now you're just like me. Is that a bad or a good thing? Okay, so hold on. I'm going to go ahead and answer and then I got I to gotta drain this lizard. That's why I don't like drinking <laughs> beer. So look, so you right. gotta drain so, the main vein. So, so <laughs> good things ain't no kids watching. You know, you know um, go to sleep. Kids. Shit probably it, look like a lizard, man. It, it, it all, it, it all, it, it all depends. It all depends, okay. right? Me personally, <laughs> yeah. like, uh, yeah, go ahead and put me on. You know, for sure. You on? I've been, okay. I've been you stuck misled. in that fairy tale. They, I, I, I'm been, I've been being misled. Yeah, you know for sure. Right? So you want to know though? Especially, hold on. Especially if, if I'm like, you know what? Let me see what the fuck he really talking about. <laughs> right. Quick, right? That okay. research. Can coordinates. Like, look that shit up. You and know. I'm like, God damn, this nigga was not lying. What right. the fuck's going on? God <laughs> okay. Damn. But so, that's like, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's like. I could only be grateful. Right. I don't see that as a sin. I don't see that as a bad thing. Can you sure. about um, that? I think ignorance is a sin, bro. Ignorance is ignorance a sin? Is For sure. sin. It's kind of like, let's say, you know, change the subject real quick in real life. If you uh, break the law and you was a dumbass and you ain't know you broke the law, the judge is not going to be like, okay, I forgive you. No, right. yeah. ignorance is not an excuse. No. Yeah. Let you it know, be I, done to them as though they don't know or some so, shit. There's like a Greek law that says that shit. Yo, like if they dumb let them, and they don't know, yo, let the shit happen to them. So, it's their exactly. fault. So with with all that being asked, if Lucifer is the light bearer, the guy who's dropped bringing knowledge to Adam and Eve in the, in the Bible, how is that bad? How is that evil? Like I know it says you know what God knows, but you, we both we all just agreed that like we as need meaning he, he got them to bite the fruit and they got the knowledge. How is well, that you bad? know, well, you know the knowledge I guess because only because it was against God's will. Well, I think the whole fruit thing, you know, was something different. It was something God symbolic. said don't do. It's about I guess um, a lot of people say it's sex. You know, sex? sex. They didn't have to have sex to reproduce or whatever. But the everything case might in be. nature has sex. In a sense, yes. But back then, I mean, was it necessary? 
I mean, right now we do it for if we, right now we do I mean, it for the pleasure. But no, no, no. whoever knew I feel that would be for so creation, pleasure. creation. If you want to survive, you have to reproduce, yeah. and that's that's so, just the nitty gritty down to the science yeah, to the molecules. Like you so, have to, so, you, you have know, to reproduce to survive. Like everything's evolved to to survive. No, no, I understand and that. You, and they survival like, of the fittest. There's mechanisms. So, like in the Bible, <laughs> survival of the fittest. <laughs> in the Bible, it says, uh, no. yeah, in the Bible it says, you know, you can't be. I, 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 I'm, uh, don't, I'm paraphrasing, but you can't be a godly man and a worldly man at the same. You can't be a man of God and a, and a man, uh, a worldly man at the same time. And I feel like God is nature and all that. Sure. And in nature, we all procreate. That's not so. Sex ain't evil. That ain't. That's well, nature, bro. You need well, that. Sex, Everything I mean, in nature procreates. Ancient Egyptians called it Plans. nature. Yes. Nature. Nature. Sex. Nature. Nature. Sex it's, is it's a beautiful it's, thing. Don't get me wrong and all that. But it's also, but it could be, it could be How abused. we use it. It could be abused. Yeah, how we use it. That's a mess. Because right now it's being abused. That's Right man. now people are popping babies everywhere, left that's, and right and all that. You yeah. create families you can't even take care of. But, so, I mean, that right there could be used as a bad thing. Where? You know, um, you know what that gives, gives a uh, rise to? So the Sumerian texts, again, because <laughs> they're the oldest texts in the world, they talk about when when humans were engineered to reproduce, and they were reproducing at a crazy rate. They're fucking everybody, God and there's so fruits. many of them that they're getting kicked out of like their the comfort of their city and shit. Like you gotta go, you gotta go. We can't protect all y'all. All right, that's what gave rise to the stories of Garden of Eden and being oh, uh, kicked shit. out of the garden and shit like mm. that for procreating and shit. And it, it really, um, a lot of that shit parallels the Sumerian text, bro. I mean, of course, it's you can interpret it. That's only because, like you're saying, every alphabet ain't the same, and they don't got words and letters to say everything that they said. Who's, so, who's a Lucifer and Anunnaki? Who's the bad guy? Anunnaki is in, it, Anun, the, the bad Enlil's guy. The uh, one who Enlil, the all right, the son of On, which is I guess God On the sky, which means translates to the sky. And then when you call it Anu, which means heaven, that's why Anunnaki, Anu, heaven, is in the name Anunnaki. Anunnaki is translated those from heaven that came right. to earth. And they're in the Sumerian uh, tablets. They they have a mythology, if you want to call it, of, right. of how humans were created. And they were created by these Anunnaki. And um, they came down here and manipulated us. And and and, 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 none was, and uh, An was the ruler of the Anunnaki. He had two sons, Enlil. And he, and Enlil had a half brother, um, Enki. Enki is the one that genetically manipulated us. They had a sis. They had a sister. Was like she was the chief medical staff. Like it goes into fucking detail, bro. Like you wouldn't fucking believe. Four hundred year fucking uh, story here on Earth. The Sumerian Kings List itself, which is a real artifact in the Ashmolean Museum, it goes back two hundred and twenty years. The Sumerian Kings List goes back two hundred and twenty thousand years. And these kings were ruling for twenty, thirty thousand years at a time. Like they had a crazy lifespan when they first came to Earth. So if somebody came down here and who knows what kind of atmosphere they adapted and maybe they did if they're that advanced, they probably did find the key to or immortality. Or maybe they choose they chose immortality over the knowledge. Who fucking knows? But at the end of the day they came down here and anybody that lives that long, of course we're gonna look at them like gods or anything like that. Like but and there it is and all this shit is, it comes <laughs> it comes from Sumerian text bro no fucking lie dog right. and that's only because I read so much on it so when y'all start explaining shit it reminds me of a Sumerian story like right. I'm convinced it's well if Sumerians were here you know the first creatures on earth I mean humans type way on earth and that's you know pretty much civilized where yeah like a civilized come from, comes from yeah it's the way they live yeah you know, they're the civilization in that book yeah and what do you what do you, Maybe fucking Genesis is Atlantis. Maybe fucking everybody there where where maybe we left Atlantis, we became super fucking woke. We bit the fucking you know, the knowledge. The, the only food. way we will find out, honestly, is us learning the language. Because the English version is so diluted, so changed, it's no longer English oh, ain't a real language. Yeah. English is know, a made English up is, language. Is, is right. Right. Storm, storm the Vatican. This. Fuck Storm fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Storm the Vatican. Uh, because at the end of the, the day, Vatican, bro. I mean, there's this knowledge that we're supposed to intake, and we can't because this colony of people destroyed the knowledge. You know, they withheld it. The Roman Catholic It's suppressed. Church. It's suppressed All information the that they're keeping and it and from us. I'm not us. saying Catholics are bad people. You know, I'm not saying that. There are a lot of good people in the Catholic religion. No, the it's just that religion alone. Yeah. yeah, the people working the strings in the back, I mean, those are the evil people. Word. 
Those are the ones, you know, keeping secrets from us, uh, teaching all these false teachings to us. You know what I mean? It's like for their own agendas. They exactly. have their own agendas. And I shit. mean, like you were saying on one of your episodes, how they worship the fish god and all that um, stuff. I mean, that's not shit. That's yeah. on. There's, there's more. That's stuff why to Christians it. ride around with a fish on the back of their on their yeah. shield. Bro, that's back way too loud. You're red There's like, a, <laughs> there's like a, a, a dragon, you know, serpent yeah. on the shield. Like, yeah. Why do you need the devil? It's supposedly in the Catholic Bible, the serpent is the devil. Why do you got him in the center of your shield? Exactly. That's like the most valuable part. That's got to be your strongest point in the middle of your shoes. And not only that, the Pope wears red Prada shoes. He walks around with fucking garments no, with real Pope, gold. Man. They're so flounder at his fucking National Geographic one in his fucking plane. What kills me He's got gold Pope? fixtures on his toilet seats. Real fucking gold. But everybody that follows them live in poverty for the most part. Yeah. What kills me about the Pope is since there that not a real Christian owns a gun. When the Vatican, you know, they own a percentage of Beretta guns. For sure. You know what I mean? They make so much money off people killing people because of these guns. And they're, they're sitting that there. And not only that, shit. their guards all got guns. I mean, they all, everybody has guns. The Bible yeah. says, have a, you know, you can exactly. have a weapon to protect yourself. Bear, bear, it yeah. doesn't say a gun. It says uh, if you don't have a sword, go sell your little money or your, uh, go sell something valuable. You could go buy yourself that sword. Obviously, right now, a sword ain't shit today. What's a sword now and nowadays is a gun. Yeah, for it's sure. Have modern, gun. modern, for that's sure. That's why, you know, a Could lot of people be interpreted take, that way. That's why, well, a lot of people misinterpret the Bible because back then. That's why I went by live by the sword, die by the sword, to live by the gun, die by the gun. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think we should go back play. to swords. Sure Let yeah. me ask you this. Do you well, know no. where the, you know where our modern image the of Christ comes from? The blonde hair, the blue eyes, the curly hair. You know where that actually really comes um, from? I forgot his name. It's one of the popes, Alexander something. Um, his no, name no, no. Is it's, it's, one of, it's one of the popes, but it's his son. It's yeah, Caesar, Caesar Borgia. There's a show on that on HBO. Is show. Yeah, it's badass. I actually enjoyed the show. It's Caesar, fucked up. Caesar Borgia is a, he's a homosexual that slept with his sister yeah. and had a love triangle Less going on with his brother. Probably put a hit out on his brother to to obtain his military status. He killed a lot of people. And uh, oh, he tortured, killed, and a lot of people. And this is this, the guy they, they, they hired. The worship. They hired uh, um, Leonardo da Vinci. He has a con- he had a contract with them. And uh, as soon as they hired him, he fucking started sleeping with Caesar Borgia. They were fucking. They were fags. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't and know fuck that. fuck Caesar Borgia uh, and whoa. his family. Like, fuck them like a hard one in their ass. Whoa. But that guy, but that guy, Caesar <laughs> Borgia, um, he's fucking his sister. He had a love triangle going on with a mistress and his fucking brother. He killed his brother. And this is the guy that they paint. He 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 hooked up with Leonardo da Vinci. Had a a contract with him. Was fucking him too. Whoa. And then this guy was contracted. Leonardo da Vinci was contracted to repaint the image of Christ in Caesar Borgia's liking. Yeah. Not identical to him, but in his liking. His dad at the time was the Pope, and he said, "My son is such a handsome man that this is what Jesus would look like." For so, sure. hair and blue so eyes. fuck Caesar Borgia. Wow. He was he was a brown. Man. It probably Honestly, looked like Carlos's or I loved like I loved I loved either him or him. Like I loved or like more brown. If you can find pictures wow. of uh, Jesus, and, I'm not uh, a fuck nigga though. Don't try me. Whoa, like that. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus, Jesus ain't to, nobody. Jesus we ain't, ain't talking about Yeshua. No, Ye- but the, the Yeshua, huh? Yeah, uh, <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus in like Europe and stuff. Like the, the the before they came up with the, the oh you ain't talk about black Jesus he ain't talk about Tupac nah he looks like Colin Kaepernick <laughs> <laughs> it's a light skinned nigga it's a tan nigga with an afro very interesting the I'm reincarnation <laughs> the reincarnation <laughs> <laughs> and how many blunts you smoked before right, you before right, you I'm figured that saying, out I'm not let's saying talk it was, about I'm it how much saying. of the medical was you on <laughs> I'm not saying it looks like him I'm saying it looks like a light skinned nigga with an afro he was on that relief. Hey, hey, hey. No. All right, All right. now look it up, bro. So, Level one walk. Yeah. Play it, look it up. That's too loud. Right. That's too loud, bro. You spiking. You absolutely right. But, uh, I mean, yeah, so Caesar Borgia, that's where the image we get of Christ. More than likely born where he was born in the Middle East or down at the bottom of the Middle East, whatever. He was fucking probably olive skin color and he was or, or probably darker and, uh, he probably didn't have light eyes. He probably had dark eyes. It describes all that shit in the Bible. I mean, it doesn't, not in detail. It, it talks about hair. It, no, it talks about eyes of fire, it's hair so of wool. wool. Yeah, shit like that. That's skin. The, bra- bra- skin com- 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 yeah, that's right. it. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't describe that. but That's a description. I mean, right? eyes of fire, bro. What you can interpret that as? You've never seen a, a dark-skinned person Maybe he was. Maybe eyes? he was on that wine. 
<laughs> and he was just blazed. No, or there's something? a lot of there's a lot of people with uh, with red eyes. They have uh, not that red fire though. No, Come no, on, bro, no, you I mean, you want no, some no. other shit now? I know people with red eyes, yellow eyes, and shit like that. But of fire, All right, would you sure. say a fire natural? Natural? Pull one up on your phone. Maybe you read. <laughs> Post some natural you're shit. Talking, you're talking loss of words of loss in translation again. Maybe they didn't have red, so fire is the closest thing we could talk to red. Uh, and from where, though? What interpretation are you pulling it from? I don't know. What, what, what's, <laughs> what's, what, 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 nah, the Hebrew, but, what's Hebrew for fire? What's Hebrew for red? I don't fucking know, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nah, they definitely had probably two different words for that. I don't think it was the same word, like the same meaning red fire all right well i don't know i red, i think actually the the color red was a was quinoa form they had colors in quinoa form and uh because they were using like dyes from fish from animals from fucking berries plants all kinds of fucking shit bro it's crazy the jewelry the tech there's sumerian ta- uh fucking temples and shit still perfectly intact like they were fucking made yesterday or some shit like right. like not a detail missing bro it's fucking wild but then the oldest thing that they tell us that we have is Gobekli Tepe in Turkey. Hmm. And then, uh, yep. but I'm, I'm convinced that there's pyramids on, around the world that are way older than Egyptian pyramids, South American pyramids, the pyramid that, the mountain that was built into a pyramid in Indonesia or wherever the fuck that was. Anchor supposedly Wat. supposedly yeah. like 25,000 years old at least or something like that, or, bro. Yeah. That's wow. Yes. And we go back, we go back before the, um, we go back to the shit that biblicals can't explain. That's why people are skeptic about biblical. And then we there's shit that science can't explain. And that's why p- biblical people are skeptic about science, which I agree. Be skeptic about everything, question everything. But at the end of the day, what I think is going to happen is I think science is going to overtake religion very soon because we're either going to find life particles on Mars or Venus or somewhere. Venus has a lot of fucking oxygen like we do. And we're going to find some shit somewhere soon. And the point that we find that is the point that religion is going to have to be altered in a big way or they're going to have to release the real information, talk about these real gods that came down here, these real people. Man, the and truth will come out. The truth will come out. I Eventually. Think you think you'll be, a, regardless you think you'll be alive for it? Who knows, man? I think you like think it will happen knows. that soon is what I'm saying? Or you think I it's going to take a longer? I don't really know, bro, because at the end of the day, every century, every people, you know, they're talking about, oh, the, work, the end is coming, the end is coming, the end is coming. You know, you, you really Puppets. don't know. Nobody knows. Puppets, yeah. You know I, mean, I mean, I, the way things are going, I don't think we're on a pattern that says, all right, we're, some information is going to be released. Unless some Edward Snowden no, big leaker no. shit types happen, we're not on a path for the information. And so. even if it does, no, like, not everybody, because obviously I mean, we're talking about some shit, but people don't want to hear that shit. If you see it biblically, bro, I mean, if anything, you know, it says in the Bible pretty much that um, the second coming will come when Israel becomes a nation. And, the na- and Israel became a nation in what, 40, like about, right? not like 19 something? Like, uh, I think it was the 40s. 40s? I think okay. so, yeah. So, uh, 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 a biblical century is like 75 to 100 years. So, that means around 2040, around there is when shoots might start popping off. I mean, there's a lot of cultures that believe the second coming of Christ already happened, too. Even well, even Judaism, well, they well, don't believe in Christ like I that. I heard another theory, too. Who knows if it's true or whatnot. But also, they're saying that Christ is supposed to come and then the Antichrist or whatever it is. Um, but what is Christ gonna do when he comes? Uh, rapture us. How are yes, we gonna know? To- what is he gonna speak to all of us in the same language, and everybody's just supposed oh, to understand it? I or I guess when we kn- yeah. when it happens, we know. That's why. So happens. you think the rapture is gonna happen? That's what I was asking. Well, earlier. um, the rapture, man. I, I guess. Yeah, you think I there's gonna be will. another coming to Christ? I believe so. Yeah. I don't believe it's gonna happen but as far as not- they're gonna take us away. Like he's gonna come down and save us, ch- chosen few, and let everybody well, no, else no, suffer no, and die. Why, the, the world's not gonna end, and you Christ is gonna come us. Like we're worthy. bro. I heard a theory. You know, story is in the Bible. I can't actually tell you how it is, but it talks about the farmer and its slave. Yeah. How about how okay. the farmer is uh, growing his crops and all that, and through the crops, you know, he's growing its weeds. And the servant of the master, do you want me to go pull the weeds out so it doesn't um, damage the crops? Well, then he says, no, um, we'll sit there, let the weeds grow out, and um, when it's time to harvest, we'll judge which corn, which are the harvests we keep and yeah. which are the harvests we don't keep. Yeah, it's right. kind of like us as well. You know, the ones that are going to disappear first is not the Christians. It's not the ones that are going to be saved. We're the ones actually that were fucked. We're the ones that actually are are so much in sin, so much lost from the the word of God that yeah. 
we have to actually go through the bullshit. The Catholic to be Church forgiven. fault. That's why everybody's lost. To be for, exactly to be forgiven, we have to go through the bullshit. The, All the, the holidays come from them for where the most part. The first person, uh, the first people that leave this earth are the worst of the worst. Word. They're the weeds. They're gonna yeah, be yeah, weeded yeah. out, and then the rest of us get uh, who got too close to these weeds are gonna be the ones judged. Word. How fucked up we are, or how good we did. You know what I mean? But why? Why have a time limit on? I'm gonna come back and judge you then. I'm gonna let everybody grow, grow, and who gives a fuck how old you are or this, this, and that? I'm gonna have a time limit, right? Why put oh. a time limit? And then once you put a time limit, where are you taking these people to? I, well, we're not going anywhere. Do, I mean, the do, kingdom will be here. The kingdom will be brought to us. I think. Uh, can, well, here's my opinion, and not that y'all niggas asked, but <laughs> I think uh, so. When they talk about Christ, first of all, from my understanding, Christ is not a last name or a person; it's a consciousness. And uh, even if this dude Yahshua Yeshua was talking Christ about Christ consciousness, yeah. So consci- Christ consciousness is a level of consciousness. To reach. Same thing as like a Buddha. The Buddha think, wasn't one thought, person. Thought to, Buddha was that. a level of consciousness. So the, the 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 guy that we know as Buddha is a person, real life person, Prince Siddhartha, uh, uh, reached Buddha consciousness. But anyway, so I think that Christ, what they're talking about, I think is a misinterpretation. So I think there was an analogy. Like if we as a people can re or society can reach Christ consciousness, we will elevate and understand like and, and leave this realm or, or not this realm, but like how we're mm. operating here. And everybody who hasn't reached Christ consciousness is going to stay right here fucking operating how the fuck we operate in uh, barbaric doing all this fucked up shit i don't think it's going to be on a societal point of view that everybody's just going to reach but, con- but christ consciousness at the same time not like, at the same time but if you if I people think can reach if christ you, consciousness if you, you read wouldn't what, live how we're living i now. mean if you read what ancient texts say about christ consciousness it was just only a few couple hundred of people like Word. maybe three to six hundred people that reach christ consciousness Word, yeah and suppo- supposedly we as a human I'm not talking about the world at once I'm su- just saying that's what I think. supposedly we fell from consciousness right and we had to we were at the lowest level of consciousness to survive in the solar system and we had we had a very short amount of time to reach christ consciousness to survive as one and supposedly we reached that it usually takes civilizations like a hundred a hundred years or something and we, we, we reached it in 13 years or some shit like that yeah. we got it boom couple not everybody you know a couple hundred of us but then it went into the the teachings of thoth and how he was teaching christ consciousness to a group of people and that he, I think he was the one that had him, that, that led him into the thirteen years of actually reaching it, like three hundred of them or some shit like that. Uh, in, in Egypt, I believe it was like thirty years you had to go to this mystery school. Was it? Some shit. I don't know oh, if it was no, the. It was, mi- while, I don't know if, was it the mystery school? Some shit. With thoughts, yeah. yeah thought, it it might have been while. thirty, thirty, thirteen, anyway, some shit. It, it, it was. Some it was shit. significantly less than a hundred than what it was supposed to be. But however, we reached a con- conscious level. And we were able to survive. But that, that's but my those personal peop- interpretation. Yeah, those people that I, that were conscious and read and reached that level, I think they fell from that for sure. Mm. And the people, uh, or, or, or the people, touch, the people that were at that Christ conscious level, obviously they're not there no more. If they are, they're super suppressed. They're hidden. They could be a Gartha. What about like they the could Buddhist be inner earth, but who knows? They're not here no more that we know about. S- supposedly, there's Buddhist monks who uh, who who reach this light. I said supposedly we're talking about Anunnaki in the Bible and shit. I'm just letting you know. There's supposedly these monks who who can meditate for years at a time, and, and there's something called a light body stage where there are. It, I ain't a Buddhist monk, but there's stories about it. Meditate like without eating well, food. Yeah, for years, bro. Yeah, you can fast yeah. and all that. You can not for that years yes, without eating for food. Years. Yeah, you meditating I mean, is sitting there not moving. Right, you right, can't right. do that for years. Bro. All right, and they die. But, Bef- but like yeah, their body shrinks. Twelve days they're... they'll probably die. Not if a year. Google, Google it. Google it. Shit like that, it's Google like it you sacrifice yourself. It's, it's probably level, there, but I'm just saying it's not likely. It's not that they live for long. They don't know. live. They sacrifice yeah, this, it's a sacrifice. This is a but you don't. You don't meditate heaven. for years and then die. You meditate for a few days and then die. I don't know. One of him is yours because he's dead. He's been meditating forever since he died. The fuck. it's out there. Google it. Shit. I mean, it's probably out there, but that don't mean it's likely though. That's, but, um, that's it's small I mean, tribes that's, that do that shit. Like little I don't got Buddhist the discipline, tribes. but yeah, it's it's hey. I mean people fast but not you can't fast for years bro you nah. can fast probably for a month or two you gotta have, you have, to have water you water for sure yeah you you the i mean there the there's sea. people that have a diet that's called the breathitarians man, you ever heard of a breathitarian <laughs> hey, diet you explain no. that so breathitarians what they are is um they live off of 
breathing. <laughs> they live off of energy from the sun and water. And I think like three times a week they drink vegetable broth. And they're called breathitarians. That's real. That, wow. I'm asking you, that's real? Yeah, and Google it. And they supposedly live off of the energy from the sun as well. But so. monks can't make Not even off the earth, that? like vegetables and all like that? B- vegetable broth three days a week and water and sun and sun sunlight I guess you get your nutrients sunlight, I mean I, I guess. it's something them. I mean it's people do it it's a thing I didn't just come out of nowhere and be like hey breathitarians well, no, people tried it whether they died or not doing it <laughs> they, they <laughs> fucking tried it I mean half the crap we eat man is poison Bro, for sure way, you know 99% I mean? of the shit we eat is 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 acid base we're uh, carbon based people that means we should have a carbon based diet we're slightly more alkaline so we should have an alkaline diet but yeah. 99% of the shit we eat is acid based therefore it's keeping us sick it's keeping us unable to heal ourselves Fuck it's keeping you. McDonald's unable to produce certain, certain right. chemicals maybe if we were fucking not eating this we can fucking at will fucking produce that DMT that's already in us and shit like Let's yeah talk about the pineal gland yeah. you think they do you think they mentioned that in the bible i think that uh that supposedly that's what moses supposedly like when moses in the burning bush uh that was like a psychedelic trip he pineal comes from pine Right. Okay. And if you imagine a pine cone, the Sumerians used to walk around with the pine cone holding it to their forehead. Look that shit up, bro. They so knew about the, the pine? They knew about the penal gland. It means it's pine, like the pine cone, and they used to walk around with a pine cone to their head and like Well, I'm forehead. sure they did. I mean, we're the ones out of touch, bro. I mean, if you see the, the American part, history, I guess since I America wish I, I wish happened, I had a button bro, to we, do a been, clapping sound. <laughs> like, we've been, uh, since America started, we've been out of touch. They've been lying to us. You know, most people don't know. The only reason they worship Jesus is because their, fa- you know, great great grandparents was getting Word. raped and beat the fuck up. Yeah, they was you know, forced to worship. Are you that. talking about my melanated? It was exactly. a new. It was a new. Oh, exactly. thank you. But, but oh, I, mean, I have problems. South with Black Americans Christians. too. You know what I mean? Because yeah. in South America, did the same thing. Actually, Hell there's yeah. um, yeah. there's like a America. agreement with America. Like the Vatican was given South America to govern with religion. Yeah, I have that's problems with Black Ninety percent of them. That's why you go to Brazil. You got that big statue of Jesus. Exactly. And shit. I mean, yeah. they all are fucking Roman Catholic. And church, most man. Brazilians Nobody are black. Nobody thinks that's Latin. That's yeah, a problem the or something. Yeah, you know the, I mean? Latins yeah, you know the I mean? Latins basically spread out over there. Yeah, the Spaniards and shit them. from over there. I mean, exactly. From, back from that then, area to beat the hell out of them, do all that stuff until they took over. Spanish Inquisition. We're actually doing an episode on that. I am. I mean, it's it's on my episode. It's on my episode log. That I call it the Catholic Inquisition, but it's the spanish same inquisition right? same shit yeah one in the same they're thing. synonymous yeah. fuck that i made it synonymous bitch <laughs> they, call it, they call it spanish to keep the catholic safe exactly know, innocent. and i call it catholic to fucking put them on blast <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. i call it spanish inquisition second but catholic Six, first bro here, and yeah. i'll and i'll always bring up the cat i always say spanish afterwards so you know what i'm talking about and then when you're like did he just call it catholic yes motherfucker look yeah. it up it was the church that did that Blasphemy. bro in yeah, the name man. of god Blasphemy. Yeah. in the name of their policies or their their political mechanisms that they were putting in place and shit like that their control mechanisms yeah. to me that shit's wild like i believe we do have a creator an ultimate source of intelligence um whether it's energy form um i don't think it's physical form maybe I, they can't they can't be our creator if they're physical form that's on a level that we're yeah, experiencing. We're, that's yeah. A yeah, we're, experience. yeah, we're experiencing that right now. So they have to be way beyond right. developed. Like I said earlier, we're just vessels. But my right. problem is if we have a creator, if we have a God, and he created everything like the Bible says, mm. then what the hell is he doing before creation? Was he just chilling in a black <laughs> space for a billion years? Like, what was he doing, bro? Oh, Beating his knees. That, you shit there's so many made. questions like that that's unexplainable. And when you think about it, like, oh, yeah, that don't make sense. <laughs> it's like, so then what? Maybe he had like another right. world, and yeah, you know what? <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas, man. Stop I mean, gone. before that, what was he creating? Before that, I mean, if you go, if you believe Sounds in the biblical crazy. and the Christians, yeah. the, the, what the Christians believe, there is no other world. We were created what three, six thousand six years thousand. ago. And nobody yeah. proved so it. there was no, nobody can prove it. But these Christians are devoted, and they believe this shit. They'll die for that shit, and uh, they'll believe they'll go to heaven if they question anything else, and sh- or they'll go to hell if they question it and look for other shit. So these people believe in that shit. The world's 3,000, 6,000 years old. I got Facebook like pages that I follow that people argue about this shit all day long and shit. Like, oh, you can't do and, question God. Yeah, like, bro, like, it's <laughs> really blasphemy and shit, but this ignorance, bro. It's ignorance because they don't look at where that guy came from. They don't look at what the... Well, they're scared to look, man. That's the they're main focus. They, 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 they don't want to go to hell. They don't want to go to hell. Look it up. Look it up. Got don't take none of our words. Take it upon yourself. 
and and I try to stress this because when you talk to I don't mean to attack Christians or, or any any religion, but when you talk to a religious person, they'll be like, "It's the answer is in the Bible." No, look up where that Bible comes from. Look up. It's not the word of God. Look up where this stuff comes There's from. Concord. Do yours and don't you can't look in the Bible for the answers. You yeah. can't be like, well, let me church to the No, it's not in Job's, it's not in Deuteronomy, so, it's not in No, you gotta look up the sources. Where did this stuff come from? Where did it originate? And there, then you can figure shit for out. For most Bibles there's concordance. Word. Where you can look up and you can see where these words translate, where they come from, what they mean. Mm-hmm. So when I'm reading hypocrisy text and I see that not Jesus, but uh, Yeshua was born from a, a virgin birth. And then I look further back and I see Yeshua's grandmother was also vo- born of a virgin birth. It's in these texts, her apocryphy text that was left out of the Bible. So I'm like, all right, there's nothing oh. immaculate about Jesus's conception because everybody's being born at a virgin birth. So I look up the Greek concordance for well, virgin bo- birth yeah. and virgin birth simply means the unmarried woman. It doesn't mean somebody that haven't had sex or somebody that was impregnated by a spirit. The virgin birth means an unmarried woman. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of words that you can say, all right, this means this and this means this. And it's so is Christ really a miracle. If he did, if he was a virgin, Virgin Mary wasn't like, oh, I had a baby without having sex. No, I had a baby without being married. Yeah. Is that such a miracle? There's nothing immaculate about it at that (laughs) point. Like, yeah, man. it's crazy that's the shit you got to look up though that's you know nuts. what i mean that's what's lost but how many context. but how many of you jesus believers and followers are going to actually look that shit up no because it's not in the bible god didn't know. say that god, god didn't say that. jesus christ well see if if the pastor doesn't say it it's not it's true you don't know what you're talking about you don't know what you're talking about i don't know what i'm talking about here comes about. the hate man yeah, i'm going to crazy hell, motherfucker i wanted you know a, i wanted a pastor or preacher to be on here right now with us it would have been so dope bro. and you can get ordained online so what what kind of what? God works. All you got to do is pay a fee. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he, he works gotta, online and he takes a payment. Like, what the dot fuck? Com. God dot com. Shit, wild. And you know it's bullshit. If it's a dot com, it's bullshit. <laughs> they get paid. Dot orgs are free. Oh, like, yeah, they don't man. make money off their site. So oh, that's how you know he's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you going to hell, boy. man? Jesus Christ. But you were saying something else. What there was? I forgot. I mean, it might be off topic. It might be yeah. way earlier what we were talking about. But there was something else. I forgot what it was. Ooh, you you yeah. were saying something though. Cut them way off. Oh, like God. God. It was something about your. I don't know if it was your notes. What you were looking. You were saying something. I know you wanted to cover it, and we were, we went on a thirty minute convo. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it was longer than that. <laughs> Probably. It wasn't about the different messages because yeah. we already Me- went to the messages. Yeah. yeah. Fuck um, is this nigga talking about? <laughs> yeah, how many times it's said in the Bible and all that stuff? Um, how they take things out of context? Or that part? Uh-huh. Can I get an amen? Can hey. I get an amun ra? No. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, man, it's hard. Hold but up, I mean, if you really want to know the truth, you really got to like learn the Hebrew ways of uh of the Bible, man. And that's like if that's li- listening to you know um. The temple and all that stuff because they go over the Old Testament and the I mean I don't know how to say if it's original or not but I mean right now they're like most of the truth because right now nobody everybody wants to forget about the Old Testament the, the Old Testament supposedly even in their Bible he, um it never went away it never right. passed or whatnot you know it's supposed to filter out the New Testament is supposed to filter through the Old Testament but nobody teaches that no more. you know where they practice that for thousands of years unchanged unchanged they still practice the old ancient hebrew ways ethiopia and africa black people and it's, it's one of the lost tribes so they say they claim but right. ethiopians also still have the book of fucking enoch in their bible which talk about aliens also they're the uh, descendants of solomon solomon Hale Selassie. i Ire. but um i forgot what i was saying Dang, we might have been talking about uh hoshua which is referred to in uh, to what book so you is it? Think the book of Nun, a, the oh, book of Nun, Hoshua, Nun was the son of Nun, the proceeder son. of Moses, book of Deuteronomy, led the Israelites into the promised land. He basically had a burning bush moment like Moses did, right? He had his moment where he supposedly talked to God. Bro, and the way these gods are appearing to him and the situations they're appearing to them in, or, question this shit, bro. Yeah, I mean, but who knows? Because at the end of the day, these gods are, are the mission not, they're sending they're, them on they're, question they're, that they're shit. not beings that we could see man they're energy 
You know, our eyes can only see what we can see and what's in this world. We're why, blind. Why don't because we, at the end of the day, my bad, bro. No, no, you get the, 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 How you say the penile glands, right? Penile gland, yeah. Penile glands. Yeah. Penile glands. Yeah. Yeah. It's closed. It's corrupted. It is. Ours it is, is, is all fucked up. We can't fluoride see. Fluoride. We can't turns see it to that cement. other world, that other, the other Ooh, realm that we, you know, that's yeah. around us. We need that third eye opening. If we was Ooh. ever clean our system, clean our diets, maybe we could practice using it. But even though, I mean, yeah, that I think it's that. I think it's like meditating. Meditating It's cleaning our system and eating healthy meditating being one with earth consciousness no meat no processed foods i mean speaking up, things into existence yeah so why, why grow your own you, shit why why do you think we don't experience these uh god experiences that they ex- that they talk about in the bible or in on yeah uh, that's a good like one I said, I mean, that's we're, a good we're one why don't we, why don't, but we don't see nobody splitting the sea but the thing is right no we're not like that. That, we don't see nobody walking is, on water we don't see no prophets no more we need it more than anybody else did we we're the most misled yeah we're the most misled by fucking the vatican by everybody that's there trying to put their own agenda so on if, us if we, we need, need most, we need a we need a prophet more than anybody like bob marley said like we're Bob Marley actually, said, they actually, kill our prophets while we stand by and watch. We're actually just being fucked by history. Fucked by history. <laughs> <laughs> Message. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was you about to say? But it's though? like, um, damn. We I just rewound that. I was asking, just, why, <laughs> that's I was that asking was. why don't we experience these things? Yeah, because we're so out of touch, man. Um, Word, okay. Just how, how. What you was just talking I'm about. Saying, with and the not only that, is that, um. We're we're just the general people. We are the masses. We're we're nobodies. Who are you? Who am I? You know what I mean? We're nobody. We have no control, no power, or anything. I agree. With I don't you. know I if feel you like ever out of touch you ever sure. seen these videos back then. The stories of people that um they they see there's a dark entity or dark power behind you know that controls the world and all this stuff. You know these are the people who still have these connections. With these entities that we don't see, like that, Illuminati and shit, something like, like, that? like Illuminati, yeah, like Illuminati, yeah. Well, right. I mean, but I mean, Illuminati what was a mean, group that happened back like then elite? and all that stuff. Yeah, elite. the elite group, okay, the elite group, right. uh, the ones who actually run the world and all that stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. Those are the ones that I think that you know still see they know these knowledge. entities and these uh, demigods. You know, you think I, their pineal glands are activated or some we, shit. You never know. They're, 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 they 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 have the money to eat whatever they want. They create right. the healthiest stuff. You're they right. can shop at the places we can't afford to. We'll go to Walmart right, where man. everything's mass produced. These niggas at Trader you know Joe's. I mean? Exactly. <laughs> you know, Walmart stuff is like uh, like the guts, the shitlands, and all that stuff that they gave back right. to the slaves. It's just the the bottom of the barrel for us. You know what I mean? Because you know yeah. they put the hormones in the animals to grow faster and so all that you, stuff. So. so not as a not as a whole or a society or a culture, but you think there are people who still are in touch with these uh, entities? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think hey so. Carlos, message! <laughs> I just sent I mean, one think to about him. Because uh, you hear these stories about uh, who knows if it's true or not, but I mean, take it for what it is. These stories of people, you know, uh, whistleblowers on Hollywood, okay, about dark, you know, dark secrets, you know, worship the devil, all that stuff. That um, and then all of a sudden they're fucking crazy. They're locked up Word. and all that. You know, that's the same thing they did with this Jesus guy. You look know, what look what up. the Manson they family did. Crazy. To the actor. They locked them up and then they had to kill the dude. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he was talking all this craziness that, that, that scared the people. Where? You know what I mean? It's, it's like it's like. Um, Wait, who was talking craziness that scared the people? No, like, Yeshua, nigga. Yeshua, Jesus. He didn't scare the people. He scared the government. He scared the people. Well, who yeah, was ruling people shit. in charge. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. The they're the ones in power. They're yeah, the ones he, you know. He those, I was telling him sure. like those are the ones that see these aliens, these uh, gods that are from higher entities and stuff. The they're the ones that give them the power to rule. Because if you see in the Bible. It talks about these gods giving them power these to these humans. Sumerian to, types to, talks about um, that rules nations. Aliens given, uh, given power to rule. So supposedly the Sumerian texts, the kings of the earth and the queens, act as emissaries for the for these Anunnakis and rules the and rule the people accordingly. And supposedly they're genetically like manipulating their bloodline, and that's why when you get to like. The fucking uh, who is it that Rothschilds like they have a different type of blood that nobody else in this world has like it's exactly. fucking wild bro. You think that's a fact? You think they got like a type G? I think it's possible. Type I mean, G I think blood? they do have a weird bloodline. Hey, but I, I tell you right now, ain't none of y'all niggas got my blood. I mean, but don't you think it's funny that it's only we all have certain, Neanderthal in it's this like a, type o, a certain man. number of group of people <laughs> who actually have all this money in the world and all this stuff. I mean, don't you think they might be getting it from all these a higher being or something? Because to give you rule over a world like. What is it for, you know, us not to step up or whatever? How is it they know all this 
I got uh, crazy knowledge and stuff that. that numbs us down, dumbs us out. Like it has to come from something higher. <laughs> I got it crazy. Thing. What the knowledge? Or everything in general, man. I don't know if I jumped off top of it. Nah, no, I'm trying. I stepped in, so I'm trying. Stepped like, in, so I'm trying to catch back up. So, it's like, I mean, he's saying like about the, you know, the if they still see us, you know, that they are the ones that give us the knowledge how to dumb out the people. I mean, yeah. you gotta understand these are higher beings that are older than us that already studied us. So from thousands, thousands of te- years, they're they telepathically know how communicating with us. That so too. Far. That so, too. So, so I talked to him about this uh, before. Uh, you familiar? Uh, it's in the Anunnaki story, but the uh, the the uh, the Greek people got the same. Uh, uh, the the Greek mythology got the same thing uh, with, with, with Prometheus. You familiar with Prometheus? Prometheus is a Greek god that uh, gave, I think, fire to like uh, man, primitive man, okay. and all the gods were mad at Prometheus because fire was technology, and it and it rose primitive man to to. To uh, uh, technological man, okay. it was it was technology. So okay. so now they can survive better. They can preserve meat. They can cook. You know what I'm saying? So so the gods were mad at Prometheus for doing that, and they and they punished him. And Anunnaki got a story about that, right? Where and and Lil yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, hitting up the um uh what what, what are the first men called? Hey, but <laughs> um, uh, um Adamo Adamo yeah. But I mean, if you if you think about that, um, I think. <laughs> but the point is, I think I I I feel like I, I think we're in that stage now. Like, all right, so yeah, we get, we got t- technology like computers and cell phones, but you don't know how that computer works. You you can open that that computer and and tell me like what this chip does and nah. what the fuck the energy is coming from. No, you don't know how your there cell pe- phone there's works. There's people that you do, don't, though. There is clearly. people that do clearly. Yeah, they made it, but they you don't. It. What I'm saying is you. We think that we're. But smart the thing is, shit. now we can Google it and we can figure out how shit's manufactured. You can look up manufactured bl- blueprints on almost anything right now. <laughs> okay. So does that make us dumber but, or smarter? Because it took them a year or two to develop that. But if we can look up the blueprint and read okay. it in thirty minutes and we know okay, how it works, we Google. have that knowledge in thirty okay, minutes. Take away Google, you don't you don't know that shit. Take away Google. What about you don't know what that about shit. Bing? <laughs> <laughs> what about Ask Jeeves, nigga? Uh, yeah, but but okay. So take away that and you don't know the technology. We we know how to operate it, but we don't know it. So we're just as dumb as these ancient cultures that we're talking about. We have the access. To technology, but but so, do you think that uh, soon we're gonna have that intervention again? Like, all right, y'all niggas is fucking up. We need to. You think Who there's knows, gonna be another right now, I mean, or another? Uh, 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 that'll probably be another uh, rapture. Things situation, are getting kind of out of hand right now. You know, war going to war. You know, everybody blowing everybody up. They Who think knows? so, but it's been worse. Many it's times, yeah, for sure. The Spanish or the Catholic Inquisition was worse. Well, the yes, yes, the, you the know, Europeans like, coming to America and killing over 110 million indigenous fucking uh, 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 Native Americans. Yeah, that was no, worse. Okay, that was the world actually, ending to no, them. I mean, like, at the end of World War Two, over 111 million Native Americans. At the end of World War Two, there was less than 250 thousand. Damn. Bro, that's a that's the genocide. biggest genocide in the world, bro. That's shitting on cat, uh, fucking Hitler. It's shitting on the Inc- Spanish Inquisition by like thirty million and shit. And it's, yeah, no, it's sad. For it's sure. fucking wild. So, if aliens come and they're hostile, hostile, that's what happens. Supposedly, your boy, what's his name? Fuck, uh, William Cooper. Oh, Bill. He, uh, Bill Cooper, William Cooper. He William he thinks Cooper. he thinks. He works for the government. He had top seat clearance at one point. He turned and he's like super fucking woke before the cops killed him. But um, he um, he said that we've been in contact with an alien race for that he knows of at least one for over 400 years. And they were saying that they were here to help us develop consciously and like we're either falling behind or they just wanted to help us develop consciously. And who knows if we've been working with Whoever's them or not. Whoever's running this shit sucks dick. We suck right the only now, thing man. that really advances is your cell phone, though, and That's technology. Silly. Right? Car, 100 years ago, fucking, or 70 years ago, cars were still on four rubber tires, still ran on gas. <laughs> Basically the same shit, still run on four rubber tires. Power lines. You're, you're, been you're, the same since the 1800s. Your cell phone, your cell phone, right, went from a select few rich people having a phone that they had little ladies in the operator booth plugging shit in and putting you into another line that's how rare it was oh, everybody a phone. didn't have that so no so yeah so it went from it went from rich people to having phones to um like you know the house phone 
Uh, or no, actually, yeah, the it went, it went, it went to like the select people having the phones, and then uh, you know it's on the cor- it's on the corner, it's on a payphone. Um, uh, it went to your house, they put it in your house, so it's it's there at your house, and now they want it to be closer to you, so they put payphones on every corner, so you can go to a payphone and you have that technology right there, and then next thing you know, it's in a fucking briefcase. You got briefcase cell phones, you got car cell phones, and then boom, you have something that's with you everywhere you go now. And now you got wearables. Now you got watches that you don't yeah. even got to take it off. I'm telling you, they're probably trying to put technology inside you one day. All right, man. If anything, we've already accepted it. The cell for phone, sure. Huh? We've been chipped. <laughs> we've been <laughs> chipped. That's our form of the chip. Is that t- that cell <laughs> phone? Where we Honestly, I thought that type of shit was already happening. Yeah, and the chip. That's our chip. Is that cell phone? Yeah, is that our hand? And you sign. You sign everything. Right every right every right social media is site. That, you sign all your rights. All your data. All your rights away and shit. Is yeah, that the man. mark of the beast in the Bible? Who knows, man? I don't, I don't know. know. I think it's a blessing at the same time because at fingertip, the you knowledge. got information that no other generation same had before thing. us. The devil. The devil is the one giving the information. But why is it? Why is it wrong to be informed? I'm just saying. Is that what they're talking well, about? The mark of the beast. So the devil. The devil six nine. He's snitching now. Is the devil snitch nine? That's prophetic. That's nine. prophetic well, it's right only there. It's bad how right? you use it. That's prophetic right there. They're talking about the mark of the beast. Everybody's going to... Uh, or, 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 yeah. All right. It depends how you use it. All right. You know what I mean? If, if technology was used to mislead you, you could also use technology to guide them back. Ooh. I mean, it's all how you use it. Ooh. Okay. It could be looked at in multiple ways for sure. Okay. You know what I mean? Agree, agreeable well, on that, on that, on that standpoint. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all, it's all us. We have the choice if you want to make that move or not. Or you need religion you know. to, to, and you know, we out. make moves, big moves. Do you need religion to figure that out? To, to, to know how nah, to be a good or bad religion, person. Religion is what it's gonna send you to hell, man. <laughs> if anything. Oh shit! Worshiping, you know, worshiping the wrong God, shit. Huh? Well, not only that, it if, takes if, you away if, from let's God. Say huh? you're, let's makes say, the separation. Solidified. Let's say you are worshiping the right God and religion and all that stuff. You're still doing it the wrong way. Wow. Well, at like the end that. of the day, is um, I mean, you can say it's selfish or whatnot. There's a way that if let's say. If, for example, and no disrespect to what, you know, comparing it to a human or whatnot, but you're a woman or something like that. You know what I mean? Yo. Uh, meaning a god to a human. You have to do whatever you have to do to make her happy the way she wants it, not the way you want to do it. If anything, you know, give her some money, shut up, right, leave me alone, whatever it shut is up, or yeah. whatever it is. But you got to... <laughs> You got to do so much more to make her happy. Nah, no, nowadays out. they want nails, they want exactly, they want gas I mean? in their car, they exactly. want food, they want. Well, there's a certain way to show your love to that person. Like, fuck out of here, bitch. Well, it's the same thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> Showing your love to the guy. There's a certain way you have to do it, and so far, religion is not teaching. Tupac you. was a prophet. He said, "Fake hair, fake nails, fake eyes too." So they bound <laughs> the fuck with fake guys right, too. <laughs> now, and now so much more hips, ass, titties, lips. Cheekbones, Man, forehead injection. Bitches is getting forehead injections. Fuck. Rather, <laughs> when does she get punched in the forehead? That should have a big ass wrinkle. She's even getting desperate to go to Mexico and these third world countries. Damn, again, I, dumb, know some people, I would never do that. Man. They don't even operate over there. They amputate. Bitch, some shit go what wrong. They up? cutting that shit off. Up, man. <laughs> man. They're, they, they they're herbalists. They're, they're, too, they're herbalists over there. They like they like per, they're like perfection in <laughs> herbs and healing, like herbalist healings and shit like that. They do. That's where Doctor Sebi learned a lot of his in healings. Mexico? Yeah, it's a, his yeah, herbalist, for man. sure. There's natural holistic people all over but they got doc like in india third world countries they got doctors they probably their practices aren't the same like they don't meet osha standards but they, they fucking they know what they doing i think i know somebody who got like a a, a sleeve a stomach sleeve in mexico they gained their weight back damn hopefully they don't watch this but <laughs> Doc, Dr. Sebi was crazy, bro. That was a crazy story. And I was oh, on it before he died. And, like, people that know me back then knew I was, like, trying his diets and shit like that. And. You think that's real? Oof. You think, uh, you think, uh, I, I, I strongly believe that Earth have anything, any. Everything you need. The remedy to, to cure anything. No, your body bro, does. We're it's not embedded in be. your body, but our diet keeps us unable all this acid that we're intaking keeps us unable to produce probably most of the, you know, natural cures that we need. Like you, you cut yourself, you cure yourself, right? Yeah. We can do that on a on a on a on a massive level too, but we're just too sick. We're we might not seem like we're sick, but we don't eat the right diet. You know oh. how many? You know how many? Like 
um, illnesses can come from eating food not cooked the right way. Not co- we're not carnivores. It's not in our teeth structure that we we, we rip meat apart. That's you not think what we're we do. Oh, for, for sure, if you look yeah, at our history, we we're we're we're, we're berries, time. we're fruit, we're berries, and we're nut eaters. We're not. We don't have the teeth structure. We don't have the canines to rip meat apart like all other carnivores on on Earth. So meat wasn't in our diet. We can't eat meat raw. We don't like meat raw. We don't even like it like it uncooked. It has to be seasoned to taste good. We don't. You don't think man. cavemen were eating raw meat? And shit? I'm not saying yeah, they. I think, I, who who's not saying? I think people story. tried anything at one point in time, but I'm saying they're not they designed. Like they're not designed to. This is we're, disgusting. We're not designed to. We're not designed. Fire. We're not designed to. We're eat not meat. at all. That's why if you know you know people who eat meat and all of us obviously I mean we have so much decomposed mm-hmm. meat in our intestines yeah. that we know when we haven't shit it out yet. Meat still carries um, animal DNA even after yeah. being cooked. You have fucking animal dna in you yeah man um actually the real reason why we eat meat is like a tradition something that we learned from back when so like is it because of the proteins and shit or nah get more protein crazy the only reason me get more protein protein from grass because they're eating the grass exactly photosynthesis (laughs) if we was eating the grass you can't get more protein from meat (laughs) than something from out of the ground because i used to think like because the strongest animal (laughs) in the jungle or the, the monkey. biggest is you got the gorilla. Yeah. You got a fucking they're elephant. They're not meat eaters. <laughs> yeah, they're not meat eaters, but. <laughs> they're not carnivores. Well, they're, the reason they're why fruit, we They're fruit and grass eaters. We was taught that if you was to eat a lion, you have a heart of a lion. Yeah. If you was to eat a tiger, you'd be as strong as a tiger. They, they, it was a form that you was the. It's actually, from what I understand, I, I don't know too much about it, but what I heard is uh, it's like a sort of witchcraft. Psychological. That when they ate the animal, it, they, they got that spirit, that soul from that animal, and it made you go out to war mm. and become a strong warrior. Animal spirit. Exactly. You know what <laughs> that's I mean? but, what gave probably gave rise to that term, the but, animal I mean, spirit. That's, that's, how, wild. that's why we eat meat. Now, obviously, we dumbed it out and we just, all right, we go to Burger King Tales for steak and that shit. That ain't meat. But we're not supposed shit. to be eating that shit, even though if it's not from Burger King, you know, yeah. stuff yeah. from your store and all that. I get what you're saying. That, that, you know, our stomachs are not pro- made to process all that yeah, stuff. You exactly. Know, that's why it sits sure. in us. You know, that's why, you know, we have all these diseases and all that because we got dead flesh in mm-hmm. us. You know what I mean? I'm sitting on that. You know what I mean? I'll kill me a steak. Me too. But I mean, I be trying. I be trying. I take my micro breaks and I try, and I'll probably get to a point where I'm. I'll cut it up my diet totally. Three times a day. We supposed to eat about one time a day. You ever like who makes you? Who says you're supposed to eat three times? Like you got to look at the structure. Like the like I was saying, the work twenty four hours in a day, the forty hours a week work. Then who who says you got to eat three times a day? The Sumerians had a a eating regime. Like shit, they probably did, man. I'm saying it's not written down. How you know what was crazy is they were the first ones to produce wheat. I mean, I don't know about their eating regime. I already said they probably did, but they were the first ones to produce a wheat. And it was said in these these texts that the wheat was given to them by the Anunnaki after the Great Deluge, after the Great Flood. A lot of technology was given to them. That's why it's like hunter gather, hunter gather, big ass flood, and then boom, Sumerians pop out of nowhere after that. All that technology and shit. And it was and uh, supposedly they gave them wheat, and that's why in that new Alien Covenant movie, the second part to Prometheus. When they land on that new earth that's over there, they find the first thing they find when they get out is wheat. They're like, why is wheat here? Like human wheat. Like it's it's a message, like a connection. Like I ain't maybe. And they're searching for the the creation of humans in that movie. So that's crazy. It's fucking wild. And there's messaging like in, you know, the Matrix movie. Neo's his license expires on September 11th, 2001, 9-11. Like there's references and movies to all kinds of shit like that, bro. Who knows what, you know, 9-11 actually really means, you know, that day, you know That's what I mean? That's a big one, bro. That, That's that, a big that, 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 that tower thing was just a blood sacrifice to something Me and bigger, him did an episode, you know I mean? a 9-11 episode, yeah. yeah. Man. On 9-11 that just passed, it was dope. We had, a, we had a good... But really, like, who knows what that means? That could be a spiritual number or something like that that was a spiritual attack on us. Because all that blood sacrifice that happened that day, man, think about it. You think it was a sacrifice? Who knows, man? On a megalith- uh, of course it was. On a megalithic if, level. If it wasn't a spiritual way, on a so, physical way, it was. So that would be like a... Uh, well, damn. We can't hear you. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm in the background, like, dripping. You know, on the end like, day, wait, it was on, a wait, spiritual. It was a spiritual <laughs> too much because going. these people believe that what they did was to kill you know, their enemy. They would have all these virgins and all that stuff when they go to heaven. So it was a spiritual thing. Those were drones. It was, regardless if they were fucking strippers here. Or not, they were living you know with strippers I mean? here. The spiritual war is so real. Do you think Muslims did that? I think that were drones. I don't think Muslims did it, but I mean, if anything, you know, 
maybe they did, but at the end of the day, who financed it? Those people don't got money like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's that's what. We're and they were living about. life we're lavish. But I mean, that's another story. Job. I'm talking yeah. about more like a spiritual world. You know what I mean? So you think that they intended to kill thousands of people? It wasn't just like the people on the flight, like that. I mean, what on was a spiritual your game? level? They what was your game? What was your game? Killing all those people? What was it for? Like, I'll tell you, the the, uh, the, the Patriot laws? Act was passed after that. Yep, the Patriot Act was passed after that. The um the Homegrown Terrorism Act was passed after that. The we got into there's the, like five the acts East. that were passed after that. Just to take our rights away, tap wiretapping on phones, don't yeah, do war Not only security. that, it starts a, a unlimited war in the Middle East um, that never ends because you can't end a war on terrorism. They're always going to be terrorists when you fucking create Al Qaeda and when you create ISIS because you killed Osama bin Laden and you killed everybody else. Who's there to now? You got to create somebody for us to stay in war, and that's why they they fucking arm fucking uh they arm regimes and fucking I uh um. Uh, Syria and they become fucking ISIS and shit like that. We create these things to manipulate war, to stay in. We've been in war since 2001. Yeah. No, we've been in war wild, since America bro. started, man. Yeah, we've been in war. Every, every, year, every year has been a war, man. Think about it. Every president is chucked us to war. war. You know, we've always yeah. been at war. is what makes us money, man. Yeah. We got to get to a point where we say, like, bro, <coughs> as a person, like, we're not going to sign up to go to war, even though the benefits are good, because that's what most people are doing. And now is for a job. It's getting to the point where, like, I couldn't go kill somebody for some bullshit that you believe in or some gas that you want to take from over there that in 100 years you're not even going to be using fucking gas no more. Like, fuck you. No, like, yeah. we shouldn't even be using fucking gas right now. We got the technology. You just make so much fucking money off of it, and it's like an endless resource, so let's just keep using it. Not yeah. only that, man, when you sign up, you sign up to play a game with your life, man. It's a game of risk. That's all yeah. it is. Say, here, let me take over your land. Oh, no, fuck you. Okay, fuck you. You know what I mean? Fuck you, pal. Hey. Back and forth. And, and you're forced because you're poor. You ain't got nothing else. So it's like, I want to feed my kids. I want to feed my mom, help her out, whatever it is. Let me go to war, right. die. That's how America was built. Money, but I mean, yeah. America was built off of big ass empires battling Edison, Ford, all, like all these motherfuckers and America. shit, just battling off a of railroad and steel and electricity and shit, like cars and shit, bro. Red, white, and blue. The red starts for the blood. You know, it stands for the blood. You it's see my, you see blood, my dude. Man. Them shits are bars. Yeah. You see the some. You, I'm about There's to hard. make a Semitic meaning this for that shit, bro. A lot of blood. <laughs> bars. <laughs> you got bars, like literally. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, that was some concept right there. <laughs> yo, concept. Eric, Eric, Eric. Some shit tonight, huh? <laughs> Yeah, Hell yeah, that's when the best conversations when they spread around and everybody got ideas popping in. Most of the time, they all like connecting shit, yeah. and that's why you go back to collective consciousness. And Word. they and they say that the, there's these um these instruments that are deployed around the world by scientists that measure like frequencies, like waves, like human. It's hard to explain because I don't know the exact terminology, right? But um, like when Princess Diana died. Everybody in the world was like, whoa. So those those instruments spiked. Like it felt everybody collectively collectively like, yo, what the fuck? It happened again on 9-11. And like when like something when a, a big amount of people is devastated by something and it's like collectively they're spiking like a fucking energy on this fucking instrument. That's just like measuring it like, yo, we got some shit going on. That shit we can't see. And like the Egyptians called it. What was it? Notcher? Nitcher? Not they call, and and basically they seen a flag wave and they knew there was something there that they couldn't see that was moving it. They kind of like even Sumerians at one point. A lot of people worship nature, the sun, the the you know the moon, the the air, the water. A lot of people worship them and make gods after them and shit. So it's there's so many there was pagan gods in Sumerian. When you the oldest text, there's hundreds and hundreds of gods. Each city had a different god, which they thought was a different alien entity that was protecting that city and shit and that acted as a king and whatever. And when you get down to that Sumerian king list, it goes right down into Abraham, bro. Like into biblical shit. The end of the Sumerian king list. Fucking shit filters right down. It and it parallels biblical texts very well towards the end of the Sumerian king list, bro. Like getting closer towards us. It's fucking wild. Crazy, man. It's something to look into for yeah. sure. Like, especially when you want to know about religion and shit. Well, at least the spiritual world. Because religion, man, it's not something you want to get into. Or that's that's where religion comes from, I, 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 would, I guess I would say. Not like look into religion. Because, yeah, religion equals division. That shit just divides yeah. people. 
I mean, there's so many. I mean, there's so many ways out there to learn, separate. man. If you have to sit down with the Quran, the Bible, and the Tanakh, or you know, the Torah and all that, you know, you sit there, you read what you can, and, and you make sense of what you think is real or not. Exactly. You and come up with your own well. educated opinion on it. Like, there's other you know. books as well that you know talks about life that are you know should be included or should not be included with the Bible, however it is. But it's it's knowledge that's out there that we need, man. That we need at least to know. More if, people if, need to know for sure. Everyone. If you want to disbelieve or believe yeah. it, you still need to know this <laughs> you stuff. You need man. to know, bro. For real. Need Come to know basis, motherfuckers. Well, you know? <laughs> need to know basis. Yeah, no, nah, I, I feel that. More people care, man. Yeah, uh, that's a, that's a lot of things. And when you run the information by them, a lot of people don't care because it doesn't directly affect them as in everyday life. So that's why when you, you know, like, oh, school shooting, yeah. They're desensitizing us to shootings, mass shootings. It's happening so often that people care less, less, and less. We're just getting used to it, and they're desensitizing us to it. So, like, when shit does pop off, we'll be too lazy to react or too nonchalant or, like, oh, we're used to it or whatever. But there, there's a, I believe there's a big-ass form of mass, like, control. Mind manipulation, well, what doing mind with that control. Too, man, it's like the generation that loves the guns and all that. They're gonna fade out because if you see these kids nowadays, yep, it's like we're taking it advice of kids, life advice of kids that don't even know shit of what the fuck life is. You know, excuse me. Um, you know, yes, I understand these school shootings and the bad and all that stuff, but that's just an agenda. It's all staged. It's sure. all acts. I'm not saying baby. it's not real. It's actually yeah. happening. Yeah, I now, think those are I think dying. those are Manchurian candidates are being, you know, hypnotized being and do it. yeah by the CIA. <laughs> As you see, these people are crazy people who have been locked up, you know, because of the mental see hand, status. See your hand. I mean, they sit there and they tell them what to do Perfected. or what it is. They make them go crazy to go shoot shit up. I mean, these kids are programmed to do this stuff. For sure. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mind <laughs> manipulation is, is, is a dangerous thing and it also could be a beautiful thing. But right. these people are using it for bad. I for mean, sure. They, they, that's how all these shootings are doing. And they're creating a, like these kids that are going to think world peace is giving up the guns. You know, they're going to, you know, once their parents die, they're going to give all their guns and we're going to have history repeat all this stuff yeah. again. With Look at the history of when countries gave their guns away. Yeah. Our kids won't protect our, themselves or genocide. whatever it is. And bam. After every country gave their gun away, there's been a history of genocide right after that. After they gave their guns up. And that's Research what they're trying to do shit, here, man. For sure. They are probably trying to, you know, false flag operations, which are covert. Like, I, I, to me, which I'm going to do an episode on school shootings. Because I really wanted to get into Columbine, the first one, you know, that basically really set it off. And I think that was was a control. There was, but that was the most publicized one that really, if you think back, what was, you know, the grandfather of fucking school shooting, it's going to be the Columbine. Like, they had videotape. Like, bro, that shit was wild. Mm -hmm. I think that was some some government shit back then. First experiment. Yep. That was just the one with the waters, man. That's it. Prototype. To start growing and growing. Now we're at an age where a lot of us, like, we, we, we come from a generation. Every two years, one after that. We come from a generation where we should be the tough That's ones. Wild. You know, we fell off our bikes without helmets. Yeah. We damn near bust our heads open, broke arms, you know, jumping off buildings and shit. And it's like, now it's like a lot of people turn pussy or something, man. Skinny like, jeans. They can't even do know, half that <laughs> athletic shit that we used to you do know? when we were kids. And it's like, now everybody's getting offended by this. They want this change. They yeah. want that change. You know, it's like. I don't like that you if, said if that. You know, if you don't like a gun, man, don't get one. But don't get mad when you get robbed by some a bad guy with the gun. Because at the end of the day, that's how they take it away from all of us. You know, at the end of the day, you know, these criminals are going to still have guns. <laughs> Mo- exactly. Yeah. When you take the guns away from the yeah, country, yeah. the only people that keep guns are criminals and the government. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Exactly. And if we ain't got nothing to protect us, I mean, the government's gonna tell you whatever it is. You gonna pay extra taxes? What the hell you gonna do? You can't shoot them. Don't do that. You know, gonna slap them up with a guy with a gun? Hell no. Nah. I mean, eventually they're gonna take. They already take and manipulate and cut our well, rights in half, and they're gonna end up. They're not gonna take gonna, it from us. We're gonna give it to them. We've already give it to give them it through to like them, the submission yeah. of our birth certificate. You don't own yeah. yourself. That's why if you're not raising your kid right, the government can come and take your kid and put them in foster care because you don't own your kid. You birth certificate, you sign the rights over. Or if you're on drugs mm-hmm. or you want to commit suicide, they can baker act you against your will, yeah. take you and put you in a place. And it's not called kidnapping. It's called baker acting. Yeah. And that's because you signed your, your, yourself over on your birth certificate. That's a bank note. You're signing a bank statement <coughs> saying this is what I'm worth. They take that bank statement, 
They they registered in the national well, actually, treasury. Your parents sell you. Well, they take that. Yeah, your parents do, not you, because you're on yeah, your own. Your parents but sell yeah, you. they take that bank statement. They 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 register it in the national treasury, which the national treasury notifies the Department of Commerce, which the Department of Commerce takes a loan out from the Federal Reserve on you, which is then sold on the stocks and bond market, and the Federal Reserve retains, of course, a security deposit in that loan that's taken out on you. So they're getting paid like no matter fucking what. And then, of course, it's based off of future tax revenue, and it gets paid back through you paying your taxes. That's how the loans paid off and shit. But they they fucking own us from the get go. That shit goes into the Admiralty Law, which is I did an episode on, bro, which is is, is wild and shit. It's basically, Very like fine. waters, um, laws over the ocean. Well, there's two types of there's like land and there's water. So there's common law over land, which every every land on the earth has common law. And the, the laws are different depending on what government's there. Like, we don't have the same laws as Japan and shit like that. Or, yeah. So, common laws are different. Waters over the, the laws over the water are all the same. They're maritime admiralty law. They, they're conducted under the UCC, which is the Uniform Commercial Code. And they deal in, a, like, commerce, delivery, shipping, and shit like that. So, like, if a, if a car was, if a ship was coming over here from Japan with, like, 100 Mitsubishi cars... Um, it would pull through, you know, a dock. It would pull through a canal, come to the dock, and then it would show documentation on why it's there. A certificate of manifestation. If it's carrying cars, it would show like a list of what car, what the color, what size, how many doors, a make, model, whatever the car. Similar to a birth certificate. Well, actually, in Black's Law Dictionary, which is the law dictionary that governs this law society, um, states that anything with a certificate is a product of being owned in the law dictionary that's the law that's the shit they have to study to pass the bar to become a lawyer and then um so you so the ship comes through the canal it parks at the dock shows documentation on why it's there and why it manifested these are the laws of the water which superseded laws of the land because when you're born you come out of your mother's canal birth canal and you come out of her water to the dock there and he signs documentation right you see the parallels to all that shit and it's it's like old phoenician banking uh admiralty laws and shit it goes all the way back everything has to do with commerce because you're considered liquid asset because you come out of liquid you're considered money that's why cash flow is considered cash flow like a liquid and then it all has to do with banks because you find banks at the at the corner of at the edges of the river right river banks and what they control the current sea right that's just wordplay that's set up like that to be there for you to notice, but not to put together and shit. Like most people don't put it together, but nah, it's deep, man. It's, true. it's and then you when you walk into the courthouse, <clears throat> your name on your driver's license, any federal or state document is written in all capital letters. It's called your straw man. It's not you. It's a corporation you that was established at your birth, a paper trail you, but not the human you, right? It's it's there's a difference too. It's fucking wild, and um. That's why it's written in all capital letters because it's a corporation. In Black's Law Dictionary, people are considered, uh, persons are considered corporations, right? And in that same law dictionary, they, um, they, um, define per, uh, corporations are persons. In that same law dictionary, they define persons as artificial entities created by the state or federal government, right? So that's what we are. We're artificial entities created by the state, federal government. It goes back. It goes back far as fuck to when they passed the law and like eight it's called the law of like 1882 or some shit where they created a, a, a own district of Columbia, the D.C. and gave its own jurisdiction to the D.C. and shit like that. And they created a United States corporation at the same time as the United States of America existed. So why do you think we have presidents? Right. Because corporations have presidents. Like, and we're all employees. We're not citizens. We're fucking employees, basically. Workers, we all work. Slaves, yeah. Still so, slaves. and then that, that's where the Admiralty Maritime Law is. And even in the courthouse, you go, your name's written in all capital letters. You walk past the a little wooden barrier with the gate, right? That signifies you walk, boarding a ship because now they can conduct maritime law, Admiralty Law with you. You're now representing a, some, a name that's written in all capital letters, like a corporation corporation is not real it doesn't exist it comes from the word corpse being dead the only time your name is written on uh in all capital letters is on your tombstone when you're dead so every every corporation is written in all caps look at hooters look at fucking ihop fucking mcdonald's everything's written in all capital letters and shit because it's a corporation 
So you look at the definition of corporations in these fucking law books and they tell you shit's fucking wild, bro. <laughs> and they start talking about like verbal contracts with cops. Like when they ask you, do you understand? They're really asking you, do you stand under my authority? And once you when you don't know that they're saying that, but once you say yes, you understand, you you unknowingly into no, it. No, nigga, I overstand. Yeah. You basically unknowing into into a verbal contract with them. They have jurisdiction over you because as a natural person, they can't have jurisdiction over you because you're not you don't answer to nobody. You have sovereign rights given to you yeah. from God. So for them to overdo these sovereign rights, they have to administrate this admiralty law, these water laws over land. And they do it to you because you're 70 percent water. You come out of your mom's water. You know, all that shit is, is it's fucking wild. And the laws that they passed over time. You can shit yeah. big ass paper trails of that shit right there, bro. Bruh. Bruh, like, like I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> but funny. yeah, so I mean, that shit was a dope episode, and um, we have somebody else that wanted to sit in, um, so we can have sort of a, a, maybe a debate friendly discussion going back and forth. Very friendly, and uh, keep it friendly. And uh, he didn't make it, but uh, hopefully he can make it in a in a future episode. We could do a part two to this. Oh, if yeah. you want I'm to, down. I'm, down I'm down for that. Yeah, we do a part two to this. You might not see Carlos. You might see somebody else. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, um, um, what's it? What's it called? Uh, what's the name again? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Technique. I know it's not called Technique. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Concept, nigga. Concept. <laughs> like technique, what? Yo. I was gonna let you I guess. I was, <laughs> like, trying get, I was trying to get some comedy in That was a joke, I remember, hey. bro. I already knew what it was the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I heard somebody say concrete when I was <laughs> God concrete. Damn, Put some respect <laughs> on my name. Nigga. So who yeah. said that one? Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Check please. Uh, but yeah. A uh, fucking dope episode. Thanks for coming. You already know we we set it up before we had to reschedule, and then uh, but we definitely got to do a part two. Have another guest in. I want to try to get like a preacher or something in here. That would be dope. Like somebody that's active, like in a church, and just try to pick him apart. See what happens. (laughs) Oh man, that that would be crazy though. Because but oh man. Right. Talking to a close minded person, man. Exactly. Because what I do, man, I'm not going to say no names or whatnot. I've asked, you know, some people, you know, they marry gay people, some people don't, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I asked them, that, yo, why is it that, you know, you don't? Like, is there, um, excuse me, certain reason or whatnot? He's like, well, there's this little book, right? And I kind of <laughs> follow everything this little book says. I mean, I'm thinking here to myself, like, yeah, everything, motherfucker? Right. Like, really? I'm like, come on, man. Like, uh, you like, never play with a little boy's booty hole, you <laughs> faggot. Probably. You know, it's like, I mean, they do. Sense, they it's do. Like, uh, what? I don't get it. Like, what are you <laughs> yes. talking about? You follow this little book, but, you know. Rewind. When we on the beach yeah. or whatnot, you sit here looking at every chick's ass, like, God damn, Carl, yeah. oh, God right. damn, oh, God. Critical. <laughs> 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 Super, like, like I don't on. get it, man. You know, people, you know, just and human traits. <laughs> or they use this little book, you know, for an excuse or whatnot. But really, I mean, it's just I don't. Know, man. I mean, that's a big topic. The 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 homo uh, gay uh, transgender movement that's popping, and now they're making unisex bathrooms or like transgender bathrooms, and it's like, bro, they're really pushing a homo agenda on us, like. Whether we think it's all human rights and you got people dumbasses fighting human rights, yeah, it's all about equal rights. But there, there shouldn't be a bathroom for us to both be in at well, the same time. Saying, if I send my little son, I don't have a son, but if I have a son that's four or five and I send him to the bathroom six years old, and you're saying he's in there with some grown ass trainee, fuck no, bro. You know how many times where it's fucking where cases like that that shit happen, like people kids get snatched up in bathrooms or sh- within two minutes yeah. some shit happens in yeah. a bathroom. Like look this shit up. No fuck well, no, bro. Get, they're man, pushing something. They're on They're acting, this. bro. Like yeah. if they don't have any rights, y'all got rights. We ain't there going wrong, man. You know what I mean? It's like I don't see. Right. Again. Same rights we already got. Like I don't see nothing, you know, I don't know people being hung from a tree or dragged by the exactly. car or pulled apart in the cars, you know what I mean? Like all I'm the sure they like, would treat it that way back in you know I've heard sure, cases of them then, being yeah, killed but, and I mean, shit. At the end of the day you gotta think a gay is nothing new, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Man, just for pop sure. out of nowhere. This I has mean, been going on since the Roman Empire. Where it yeah. wasn't you wasn't Constantinus considered a man. Flavius, the Merlius, you, fuck that dude was you, gay. He wasn't considered a well, it wasn't gay back then. It was being a man. It was Europe. It was considered, considered being European. 
you had a wife. It was considered kids, being European because they wasn't doing your, it in Africa. Yeah, your trainer or your fucking your no, thank your, you. your best man or whatever it I'm is. Like that that that's how you were a man back then. I don't want to be a man. Who that, that was like, not a part of being <laughs> a man, bro. Was, I forgot who that it was. was nothing it manly was, uh, about that. Shoot, it was. I forgot what emperor was that he wasn't gay. Don't let him push like that women. gay agenda on you, and, and you believe it. He was weird. Weirdo. Of course he's weird. He's gay. I think we're done here. I don't think gay people. I, I don't think gay people are weird because, hey, nah, I'm all for yeah. equal rights. Equal rights. Yes, not of course. promoting yeah. to have more rights than us because you think you're special. You're not special. You no, have two Y chromosomes just has. like every man exactly. has two Y chromosomes. So you're, you're, you're born a man and, and act like it. You know, nah. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Don't be with all that craziness. Like they're acting like if they don't get the rights, like they're being mistreated. What I, don't, what I don't agree is is now they're letting little kids decide whether they want to be boys That's or girls. Down, and it's... Bro. And like some of them, they're let, they're giving them hormone treatments at a young yes. age. You know yes. how many grown ass people is like, nah, got older and was like, I wish I never would have grown these boobs. Exactly. No, like you can be gay, you don't have to dress as a girl to be gay. Most people grow up and realize I just wanted to be gay, but now I got female boobs and female curves, like because they're taking hormones and shit like that, bro. It's it's fucked up to push on a kid at an early age. I'm telling yeah, you that there's something man. being pushed on us, and they're trying to. I mean, there's a lot of shit being pushed on us. But and that's I mean, the topic. I'm not saying that, you know, there are a lot of kids that you know, yeah, you know, he's going to be gay when he grow up. Like everybody, you know, had, I'm sorry, you know, that I'm not trying to sweet. say, not trying to be disrespectful. Yeah, little sugar in his tank. Knows, uh, you know, everybody knows, you know, he like the tough girl. He's a the tambourine boy, player. You know, she's the one that played yeah. rough and all that. She's going to be, you know, gay, you know, whatever it is. But I mean, not all of them turn out that way. No, right? yeah, for sure. He's going to be but a But it's like, it's like, you, you know, I know diehard dykes right now that got kids. You know, that's understandable (laughs) because, yeah, that that means you're from the young age and you're you're growing up like that. But now they're forcing it down that it's going to be a natural thing where, again, you're not going to be normal until you go on both ways. Damn. Yeah. That's That's how the next episode. That part. Hell yeah. (laughs) I got so much, bro. I got like a hundred episode list of just shit like this of what we're, everything we're talking about but getting more into detail and right. pulling up analytics and and statistics and shit like that and like really going into it right and then speculating like always straight up speculate get into the mind of the researchers do it try to open that penal gland that third eye they said it used to be the size like big ass fat grape but now it's the size of a raisin super shrunk and they said the all the fluoride that they're giving us is making it hard like cement too but who knows, right? Who I'm knows? just some fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just some fucking guy. But yeah, um, good episode. Thanks for coming, yeah, everybody. Yeah, Carlos, Greg, everybody. Uh, yeah, Craig, yeah. thanks for coming. Shit was a good episode. We definitely yeah, got to yeah. get a part two because we got another guest that we want actually wanted to add on. So uh, actually, that would be a part three because me and him already did a kind of like a part one. Yeah, it's a trilogy, huh? Part <laughs> eight. We making quadruple. We about, we about to have more episodes in the Fast and the Furious, bitch. <laughs> more than Star Wars, bitch. <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, good episode, fellas, for real. Yeah, for real. Yeah. So, um, yeah. like uh, like we said, um, you can find it everywhere, every social media, every major like platform for the most part, social media, uh, iHeartRadio. Definitely check the Instagram check, and the YouTube check, check page for sure for the videos on it. And, uh Will do, will do. It's just us chilling, talking shit for sure. We gonna promote the hell out of this shit. We got listeners on iHeart. I'm in uh, got like 15, 16 different countries listening to my shit right now. Flexing on the Uh, uh, And then a lot of, uh, I think the third most is South America, but I think the second most is like Europe, somewhere in Europe. Like I was like, oh, I was, I was like, okay, Providence of China, crazy places. I'm like, whoa. Sweden. They yeah, I've been on my Instagram too. Yeah. People in Dubai, all these other countries. I'm like, yep. okay, flexing. Dubai's about yeah. to go to the about to go to the moon right now. Oh, yeah, they they got rockets and they got a new space suit that they're about to launch on and shit. Like they're probably, even, they're man. getting in the I conversation. Got, they, they got this shit going on, man. They're getting in the conversation. Yeah. They be having people over there flying with jetpacks through the air and shit. You see those videos and shit, or they'll hop out with like flying glide suits that like glide, but got little rocket boosters on them and shit. No, they gotta like, be extra, man. They don't get a pit bull, a bully, nothing. No, they got a cheetah, a tiger, a fucking lion <laughs> camels walking and shit. With this bitch, man. They ain't got horses. They got camels. <laughs> they be eating camel burgers at McDonald's and shit. And they got a fucked the up fuck? sense of humor, <laughs> they bro. Do? Like, 
They used to talk about explosions, bro. That's how this looks. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> when they start talking about, you, I left my turban at home. They fucking with you, yeah. but <laughs> bro, I'm already scared, man. Don't That's fuck with me. Right. Yeah, they got yeah, they got a fucked up sense of humor. Damn. And they think they funny. <laughs> That's what money will do to you. Money do it. Huh? The root of all evil. Man. Got, yeah, but the money. the root of all evil. But yet they say don't take that class. Take that class. It pays more. Get a better job, right? Come on, we right. encourage that shit to our kids. Fuck out of here. Stay woke. <laughs> Stay woke. Level Stay one. Stay woke, bro. Stay woke. <laughs> Stay woke. <laughs> level nah, one woke. First step is. to waking up. Oh yeah. Hey, research Breakfast. it. Facts check it. Validate it. If it don't make sense, don't believe that shit. Breakfast. Look at it from a logical standpoint, right? Where factual. Check it yeah. out. Make your Mama. decision. Yes. All right. Happy podcasting, fuckers. Peace right. and cut. <laughs>